Uh, we send over the image there, done, yeah, give it 10 yeah. seconds. It should come over, we've sent the image over to the screen. Yeah, Thank yeah. you, Lucy. As uh, it collapsed, just couldn't get that two to go. There we go. <laughs> Apologies. And foul there. What happened, JB? I might have forgot to send the uh, shot, the actual visual shot, over to the live, but we are live. We haven't missed any highlights, and we've got it on record. Thank oh, you to Lucy you Scanlon for helping us out there. Uh, good to see Lucy <laughs> in the house tonight. Yes, a few people in the house there, of course. Absolutely. As Collins now working his way through, going inside, kicks it out. Walker for three. Not there. And then good work by by Clapper and Collins to be involved in that one there. So now Clark. Oh, wet he, spot. Yeah, he went him the deck pretty hard. And where's the t Where is that towel? No, it's not on us anymore. No, definitely not. Clark now. With it here. Shot clock at nine. That is a nice cold beverage. <laughs> As now Newitt fires one from deep and nearly goes off fast. Well, I know we've got the Bruton Basketball Foundation on, but that's some different runs done. Have some fun. Absolutely. Meanwhile, Bestwick couldn't get that three to go. He's, we know he's been in good form over the last few weeks, JB. MJB Photography in the house too, down the baseline. Absolutely. Or down on the sideline. We should try and get him upstairs here tonight as well too. As Clark oh. knocks that one down from downtown. Nice start for the Gladiators there. They're going to need it, Ronnie. Absolutely. Only the sole victory this season. Yes, and I feel like they've got nothing to lose in this game where Utahs have a lot on the line, so to speak. Best oh. week with a crafty move. Oh, they've run into one another, the boys. Yes. Ball goes out of play, and and ball goes back to Utahs here. Zach White obviously caught up in a bit of the traffic, Ronnie. Good to see him in the building. Yes, yes. The uh, chairman of the boards is with us tonight as well, too. He'll suit up very shortly. Collins couldn't get that to go. Now Clark off and running here. So Clark with a couple to beat. Well, that was short. Collins gets a good rebound. And now Walker with it here as we come back up the floor. Now Nash putting it to the floor. Bruden, it's his birthday today as well too. Happy birthday to Brooklyn. What so is he, 14? I believe that should be so. J.P. is off that. Collins knocks that one down. Yeah, nice start there. That's 2-3 apiece. No, 20 years old for yes. Brooklyn Bruton. Yes, the big 2-0. And uh, uh, great, great to see uh, Brooklyn enjoying his... Enjoying his day, uh, which is great to see. Hopefully he can cap it off with a win. Uh, let's hope oh, so. Clapper! Cl Clapper might try and spoil the party here, oh, Joe. I'll tell you what, happy and you, know, happy, happy and you know it, Michael Clapper. Yes. Michael claps us, of course. Yes, oh. that's correct. Bruden. Now Walker putting it to the floor. Kick out pass. Nash at the corner for three. Just on the back iron on that one. As Clark with it here as we come back up the floor. Here. It's been a fast pace kind of start by both teams is they're really trying to push the issue. Oldham now gets that friendly roll for a two. And it's funny, Ronnie, I did speak post a pre-game with Mark Nash and I did speak to a couple of others and I mean we talk about it all the time with a team that goes undefeated. You don't, it's not that you want to run the table, there's also that concern of, well, hey, we need a tight game here. We yeah. need to be able to show can we be pushed and challenged. Something that Utah's, we've only really seen once or Correct. twice, Ronnie, so this will be a unique for them. We've seen them rally back from behind before. Can they do it again? Absolutely. We'll see what happens through throughout and an exciting matchup uh, building as Bruton gets his first points on his 20th. Yeah, TUFF right there. As we mentioned, Bruton Basketball Foundation helping us out tonight. We'll spring them throughout the coverage. As Collins now at the corner here for three and rattles that one home with they, confidence. They are on right now, Ronnie. As we mentioned pre-game, nothing to lose. Absolutely. Utah's with everything to play for. Absolutely, JB. That is, it's kind of a nice feeling to have as Bestwick gets a response on that one. Yeah, and that's the kind of play we've seen from Alex Bestwick, though. When he gets that hot trigger finger, he is dangerous. He certainly is. We've seen that throughout this short season. As old Get as out of here. Yes, yeah, big rejection by Collins. Nash now Walker on the break. Walker up strong. Ooh. And nearly a tunnel there, I would have thought. Well, it's kind of awkward. Yes. Points go in, but the problem is that Walker just went a little too early. Mm. Yeah, I don't know if he was trying to draw contact there, Joe, but Yeah, well, I mean, a bit of a tough call for the referee in all circumstances. Absolutely. Now, Clark looking for an option here. Goes to the corner. And that was that, out of bounds. Out of bounds. And once again, <laughs> once again, every men's coverage I've, I've covered, except for the last two weeks, it's been that short corner uh, out on that on that uh, sideline there, JB, that's catching everyone out. Yeah, and Chopping coming into the game as well. Nash and Collins for spell. I was going to say, I, I messaged Edson, um Early in the day, and Ayrton telling me that he's had a good couple of weeks so far on the, on the uh, in the in the games, and um, 
Hope, hoping to really have a good one here tonight. It's a little bit flat today, so apparently Red Bulls were the uh, choice of drinks to try and G him up. And That's exactly <laughs> what a 15-year-old, 16-year-old needs. <laughs> Absolutely. As Hartog, this is what he, this, this is what they tell me, JB, as ball goes out of play. That will go back to the Gladiators. 10-8, our scoreline. Ronnie, as you mentioned, our broadcast sponsor, the Bruton Basketball Foundation. Yes. Bruton Basketball Foundation built on run, stun, and have some fun, and that's exactly what we've done here in the 2023 Tassie Summer League. Absolutely. He runs a lot of clinics, uh, Cow and his team do, and uh, do a fantastic job around the country. They are nationwide. Sheesh. A head fake by chopping, got Hartog in the air. Yeah, and Clark finishes that one for two, and now whistle galore as Mark Nash has seen up. He'll call timeout, 4.38 to go here in the first, and, well, Gladiators are up by four. Yeah, and I think that's sort of the shake-up they need. Utah's probably a little awestruck as the rain settles in. You can hear that through Ooh, the headset. hear that through the headset. What a word we can. Yeah, rain settling in here at the Warren Stadium. But this is probably the good challenge that Utah's need because they cannot sit there and consistently feel, yeah, we've got this game won. Yeah, let's be complacent, things of that nature. They need yeah. to... You need to be challenged. If you're going to be a good team, you've got to be challenged. Now... Okay, I get that you have Team USA roll into the Olympics, right? Absolutely. But when you're going to pack like three or four of the ten greatest players of all time in any yes. one squad at any one time, a little bit different scenario here. Absolutely. We're talking about players here that are playing amongst their peers, playing amongst players that may be at a similar skill level, but players that also may have varying levels of experience. And it's that overall balance that they have to counteract as young guys, as talented as young guys as they are, they still need to be wary. Hey, there might be more experience. There might be a little more physicality. We've got to account for that. A final's a good test for that. Finals basketball, like any final in sport, Ronnie, is always a little different. I think that's what they're uh, witnessing right now. Absolutely. All thanks to Libate, our, ma um, our major sponsor, and, of course, uh, the Bruton Basketball Foundation helping us out tonight on the live stream. This is the Tassie Summer Slam. Four and a half to play here in the first quarter as Bestwick fires the mid-range. Couldn't get to go. Rose going up strong. Go seconds. Oh! oh it's rejected by collapses. Get that out of here. He I, don't think, I don't think we'll see Dan Hartog pulling up for three very often tonight. No. As best week, though, will not be afraid to fire that one from downtown. Yeah, he's pretty warm tonight, Ronnie. You can just sense the confidence in that in that shooting stroke, yeah. and he's gone out of bounds there. Yeah, ball goes out of bounds, so a small a small error in the sense of things from Clark. And Utahs will try and capitalise now and retake the lead here in this ball game. So. Oh, jeez. I thought there was a back-to-back -back inbound pass straight out of bounds then. I, <laughs> I stopped drinking. <laughs> oh, jeez. Nice pass from Bruton into Rose. Rose couldn't finish it. Hartog on the board. Nice, Dan. And well done there by Dan Hartog. We don't who stayed with it, JB. Yeah, we don't see him use his size very often like no. that, Ronnie. But tonight he's going to have to. He definitely will. As Clark now putting it to the floor. A big shout out for the tremendous effort he's done for me, social refing this year as well. Absolutely. No, great to see the refs getting involved. Of course, uh, course Beck Rungley, unfortunately, not officiating tonight. She's officiated all the games through throughout this uh, Tassie Summer Slam competition. Yeah, she's a little unwell tonight. Unwell. We hope she's okay. Hope she's okay. So Jordan has had to bring in his own brother to come and ref. Yes. So the Cooper Indeed. brothers are on the floor tonight. And I tell you what, Ronnie. There is a serious moulay going on there too. <laughs> yes, I, I don't know about the what type of business he's running at the front, but it's three <laughs> days in Ibiza at the back. That's correct, JB. Meanwhile, oh, best week. Best week into Rose and well finished by Rose. That's this, well, this is well a, played. Another version of play creating here for Alex Bestwick. Okay, he's not necessarily facilitating, but he's drawing that defender. He's drawing that space and he's creating plays off his movement. Absolutely. Sack White into the game as well. Oh! Three goes down. It and chopping. Chopping from deep. Cutting and, it up. And uh, that's good to see. And my school hat on for a second. I'm very happy to see that. Bruder now putting it to the floor. Yes. <laughs> yes, Rose gets always the Always an ulterior motive, isn't there, Rose? Oh, there always is, JB, for some reason. Meanwhile. For some reason. For some reason. Jeez. White now. Clark. He's open for three. Oh! And it's a three-point party here at the Lorraine Basketball Stadium. And I tell you what, the shooting is on by both sides here. Mark Nash can't believe it. No. My goodness. I don't think Bill Laurie could believe it either. Oh, it's all happening. <laughs> it's brooding well, now. That's as far as we're going with that, that Yes, yes. I won't, go, I won't go any further with hey, that. Hey, 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 hey. Yes. Walker now. Putting it to the floor. Oh! Pass. Extra and again. pass. Oh. Hardog with the fake and the shot. Not there. Best week, though. O'Board. And a foul on the play. 
It's either Collins or Clark. I think it'll be. Uh, I think it might be. I'm not too sure. Jeez, it's teeming down. Yeah, it is. We've out taken off the headset, JB. Of course, that rain's come from the, come from the west coast. Of course, it was. It's really? Been, There's been rain on the West Coast? Apparently so, JB. Sheesh. I mean... Only happens 300 days a year. Yeah, that's very true. I only listen to the weather broadcast. So <laughs> Just getting my information from, um, yeah, multiple oh, weather channels. I did see that big... I uh, was in the office today, one of the ladies there showed me what the, the rain radar was doing, and I was not impressed for my... Particularly... Oh, it was, oh, was Hartog okay. Just a bit of physicality yeah, down low. Yeah, just took a bit of a slip there. Yeah, I know Dan's been a little sore, a little tender in places. Hopefully he's okay. Yeah, hopefully so. I'll tell you what, if this rain is happening my golf tomorrow, Ronnie, I will spew up. <laughs> I, I'm on a mission to go and shoot 60 again tomorrow, and that's only nine holes, ladies and gentlemen. That's that's not including your handicap, by the way, is it? Well, my handicap's the fact I play golf on it. Oh, I see. Right, right. Yeah, okay, Me holding a club. <laughs> Meanwhile, White from the free throw couldn't get it to go. Rose with the rebound here. As we talk all things sport on this Jeez. broadcast, it's uh, great to see. Hardog inside, over chopping and foul on the play. Chopping can't believe it, but there's certainly foul on the play there. So Hardog to the line for two. And that's what Dean's going to have to do, and I think the big fear of it as well is, uh, particularly from a gladiator standpoint here, I'd be really interested to see if you play Hartog and Collins on the floor at the same time. Collins can genuinely stretch that floor. Where does Isaac White? Where does um, Isaac White? Isaac White. Where does Zach White go defensively? Because you've got to account for the fact that Dan is really trying to make a presence down low, but you also need to account for the fact that, well, the um, the best shooter arguably on the team at the time is the biggest man on the court too. And yeah, that's a very good point. Well, thanks to Bruton Basketball Foundation for helping us out tonight. Shout out to Cow and the family watching from home in Canberra. Hope you uh, enjoyed the live commentary last week, Cow. See how you go. Uh, I, be this I week. believe that was. Uh, I believe that's what I was told last week when Cal was down, and having a good chat with him and hanging out with the family. Meanwhile, nice pass, chopping into White. Yeah, nice drive there by Zach White. That squares us up at twenty apiece here on Chargers TV. Yes. Now Bruden with it. Bruden it put to the floor here. Kick out pass. Best week for another three. Ooh. In and out on that one. Two pieces of the rim. Bad success. Now chopping with it here. Of course, sister Porsche currently in America at the moment, the Basketball Tasmania Touring Group. And recently announced for the BA development program on it. Uh, yes, it? Uh, for the National Development Camp That's coming it. up in January. Oh, Bruton. Bruton on the reverse layup. Bruton. Brooklyn Bruton having himself. 22. Yep, 22. Now White. Oldham back to white, two man action happening. Now Collins joins into that party, and it was a good option well, there for Jacko. They are just both firing on all cylinders here. One point in the margin here, currently at the moment. As Willie Joseph demands his team get on the ball. Absolutely. Very rentless on that. Best we get the corner. This take heat, on. Had a real heat check moment here. He certainly has. Can he find his range though during this game? Time will tell over the next three quarters. Final play here. Shot clock is out as we wind this one down to end the first quarter before we get our plugs out of the way and done with. So White now once again with it. It's a harassing D by Nash. Now Collins fires. And well that missed everything and that would, oh no. Point, point two, two to go. Point two. Point two. And, and that'll just... just, just that, uh, NFL pass is... Yeah, there we go. And party trick law. No, that cuts off. Uh, quarter time sees... I've been checking the monitor. Quarter time sees... That is correct, U Ronnie. Utahs. Utahs? No, yeah, Gladiators. No, Gladiators. No, sorry, my apologies. Gladiators are up by one, 23 to 22. Of course, a big shout out to our crew at Live Eat for the continued and ongoing support. <laughs> of the Tassie Summer Slam, Summer League 2023. We couldn't get it done. Healthier eating, quick and the, the quick way and the right way, get in touch with Live Eat today as our stats come in, Ronnie. Yeah, absolutely. So let's quickly look at Utah's here currently. Best week with, with six. Uh, he's gone one of five. You talk about that heat check, JB, and, well, yeah, there, there it is. One of five? I thought one he made five. two jumpers. No, one of five from three. Oh, I was going to say. The field goal's two of nine. Right. There's yeah. your heat. Two. Yeah, yeah, Jesus. Yeah, yeah uh, Bruton with four. Hardock with four. Rose with four. Then, of course, uh, a couple of single guys. Uh, it's not a couple of other. Nash and Collins with two, respectively, there for Utahs. 
And on the other side, the leading Gladiators, that is eight points, three rebounds to Zave Clark. Jackson Collins, six points and two rebounds. Meanwhile, it's three points and two steals to Ayrton Chopping as well. And Ronnie, as we mentioned, our broadcast sponsor. If you want to charge your phone, I'll tell you what, it might be needed after it's burnt through a bit of cash over at the uh, <laughs> food dispensary on the corner. Yes. Burger with a lot and the Chico roll goes a long way. Absolutely. But a big, a big shout yes. out to the Brooklyn, to, well, well yeah, to Brooklyn's dad yes. and the, the family there, Bruton Basketball Association, of course. Foundation. <laughs> Foundation. Foundation. I'm getting there. Sorry, Cal. I apologise. The Brooklyn... The Bro the Bruton Basketball Foundation. That's the one, Ronnie. The Bruton they, Basketball they, Foundation. They do a fantastic job. And, of course, they're pr currently promoting World Basketball Day on December 21 as well, too. Was that your mug I saw on their Absol social media, Ronnie? Absolutely. As Walker makes his shot and gets the three to go down. So that one's 25-23 we'll, there. We'll give that a little bit more of a plug when we get a bit more of a clear stoppage. We'll that'll, be your, that'll be your, that's your MO there, right? Yeah, really. absolutely. He's wide. He tries to go for the two. Couldn't get that to go. And Rose with the rebound here. Is that rain? He's definitely coming down like no tomorrow. And Noah's other Just friend is the needle. Good pass. Meanwhile, Rose now, the t oh, Rose looking for a step back. But gave it off to best we could. He's not afraid to fire that one. Oh. That's last touch by Rose. He's now two for ten from the field, though. Yeah. He's, he, I, I feel like you just gotta, you got to change up a little bit. You know within your own game that if you can change up a little bit just to get a couple cheapies to get you going, that's certainly going to help. As that rain is oh, absolutely... As I said, it's like Noah's Ark at the moment, j -Bo. Hello, we do have a towel for a wipe down. Yes. Oh, no, we're, oh, oh no. he's giving the Dikembe yeah. Mutombo. Don't worry about the towel. <laughs> Jeez. Jesus. That's <laughs> rough. That's rough. Yes. It's a bit harsh, I and, it, and, Ronnie, it is belting down out It there. is absolutely something you'd see. At the, uh, oh, geez, uh, Raining cats and dogs. Absolutely. As Man. white, <laughs> unfortunately, threw that one out of bounds. Mistimed that one with uh, Oldham. And Utah has to get it back here. As yes, we tick on, tick on a minute, just about a minute here in the second quarter as we come to you from rain here on what is now a wet day here in Hobart. Rose now putting it to the floor here. Rose really going up strong and couldn't get well. Well, <laughs> makes a miraculous tip if you don't mind. Sheesh. Good Lord. Get about him. 27 23, so this margin now at four. Yes, sir. Rose just doing everything in his power. Oldham, though. Easy as you like with the floater. Yeah, good response there by Oldham and a good response there by the Gladiators. End to end stuff here. And it's this semi final. Grab that chair behind you there, Ronnie. I'll borrow it briefly. Yep, all right. We might, we might get a proper written plug so I don't stumble over my words again. Yes. Meanwhile, th well, that three didn't go and Nash there cleans it up for two. Back to a tie ball game all of a sudden. No, no sorry, we're not. No, no, no. 29 25 in venue, JB. It's uh, foul. I thought those logos awfully similar from a distance here. Yes, absolutely. She's hope the windows are up on my car. Oh. <laughs> if anyone sees an no. I-30 floating down around the <laughs> rain, let me know. I was going to say, it reminds you of the as foul there on Collins. And he will go to line for two. I'm, it's like that. Tw uh, yes, Richie and his uh, and his. Um, oh, what, the, I can't think of what car he had. One day at the SCG and uh, had the pair of the windows open, tried to send down the producer to go down and wind the windows up. Look, it was a man that was going to do it. It was a great <laughs> Richie. Absolutely. He's knew he knocks down the first. And knew it. Couldn't get that to go. One and two as the last touch by Oldham. So Rose to get it back here. So three points on margin here. 26 is Bruden now with it. Putting it to the floor. Bruden inside. Oh, a bit too much on that pass. Roll idea, but just a bit too much on it. And Utah's need to reset here. Trying to stop defensively as they work their way through. Uh, here, the Gladiators, they do. And then, oh, the pass from Newell to White. White arms will recover. Now he fires that one from deep, and that rattles home. Yeah, big basket there. And, and we are at a tie ball game. Yes, we are now tied at 29 apiece. Did I miss a set of free throws there at some point? Uh, knew he went one or two. There it is. Sorry, Craig. Didn't get that one at size. As Walker, kick out. Rudin as uh, White hits the floor. Rose open for three. Yes. 
Yeah, all of a sudden, Utah's really getting about this jump shooting as well. Absolutely. They're just finding some good pieces at the right time in order to find that open look. And all of a sudden, Utah's now have a three-point lead. Clapsus decides to take matters into his own hands and unfortunately missed everything. Walker on the run here now. Try to get that one to Bruden. That was ambitious, if at anything. And then, well, similar idea down this end of the floor. Well saved by Clapsus, but Collins able to pick up the scraps. Now Rose, Nash, extra, bit of a, bit of a who will take the shot. Oh, Nash over White, but not there. White doing enough defensively to get that one not in the, not through the hoop. Clark, hesitation. Goes cross court, Oldham at the short corner, White now at the top. He fires for three, is short. And Collins with the rebound here, so a lot of action happening around the place. There's Collins once again with it here. Bruden. Bruden looking at his options here, goes to Walker. Collins wanting it down low, but Walker decides to ignore that. Bruden Van Deep makes that one. And all of a sudden, the margin's out to six. And you can just sense a bit of that mojo from Utah starting to build. Absolutely. And we've kind of seen that from that Utah's group throughout the last couple of weeks, JB. So, Gladiators need to find an answer here. Quick. Clark on the spin. Fake. Kick out pass. Collapses for the corner for three. He is off. Ball back to Clark now. Now Oldham for three. Back iron. Good work by Sack White on the boards. Knew it. Great save. Oh, well picked off by Bruden. And Bruden will reward himself with a two. Yeah, nice pick and pocket and go. And here's where I just wonder, can the Gladiators settle? Because it could get out of hand very it, quickly it, if they're not careful. It, could, it well could, JB. This is now the floodgates could nearly be open here. Knew it from the corner. Just but off on that one. Keeps raining, Ronnie. Ronnie, it'll just go straight over the damn wall. Absolutely. Might go to Macquarie Harbour. Now, foul you, on the play. Get is from Macquarie Harbour, from here to Macquarie Harbour, Ronnie. I'll, I'll lead eggs. <laughs> All right, no worries. Uh, we're going to have a time. No, no. There's time we are going to have a timeout, yeah. Timeout has been called here. 505 remaining, 37 to 29. Now, we did mention about, of course, we're very happy to have the Bruton Basketball Foundation on board tonight as our live stream partner. And we talked about. World Basketball Day happening on December 21. So this is a great initiative by, by Bruden Basketball Foundation. Uh, Chaos worked closely with a professor back over in the United States of America and is now being recognised uh, officially and globally that we're marking December 21 as World Basketball Day, which I think is absolutely fantastic for our sport, not only here in the country but globally as well too. This game is played amongst many, many countries. One of the most participated, um, you know, uh, numbers within the within the entire world of sports. Soccer probably just outdoes us, I think. If well, we they're, they're, the well the, the thing is, Ronnie, they are the two natural. They are the two national sports, and it's easy to see, or two global sports, and it's easy to see why because at some point everyone's tried to shoot hoops, everyone's tried to kick a soccer ball. So, world, ba world basketball day. Bound to be an interesting day of social media as well, Ronnie. I dare say. I mean, yes. you're trying to get that those shots up. You've been featured there. Yes, I. I There's been yeah. a lot of interesting now, uh, shots going on. Now the way now the way you do it, obviously, yep. You you film you film your shot to make your shot, and you can you can say something or you could just take a shot. Then you upload it to the Broom Basketball Foundation website, and they just ask for a donation as well too, just to help out as best we. Can. Couldn't give us a so donation he, on that one. Tell you what, he wouldn't have he wouldn't have hit water if he fell into a dam in this weather. No, I know. As White goes up for a two, nice pass from collapses. But as I said, you know, jump on the Bruton Basketball Foundation website, upload your video. You can donate as little as a dollar, up to probably ten or twenty dollars, or how much ever you want. And then the the guys will take care of it from there. As best we, well, that's a pretty good work there to follow his own shot. Hard dog in the corner. Oh, I deserved an assist. Couldn't get it to go. Foul on the play, and I'll finish off the plug as best week is a bit ginger there. So, yeah, so. Um, what happened? Oh. Right. What have we got, Ronnie? Oh, we're off. We're off. We're off, apparently. We shouldn't be off. No, I'm hoping we're not off. We're all plugged in. Yeah. I've got camera feed. You got camera feed? Yeah, it's, it's on. 
It's on. Keep panning. <laughs> yeah, we've got feed. We've still got feed. Okay. Well, as long as we've still got the feed there, we just don't have a monitor screen right now for uh, Jacob right now. Okay, we'll check that at half We'll check time. that. We will. We might go to commercial. Is all Oldham and Rudin come together on that one. Yep, no, we're still... Yeah, we've still got feed. We've still got a feed. That's so interesting. Maybe if you push it in and pull it back out again. Yeah, I'll turn it off and turn it back turn on, on trick. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Hey, turn it hey. off and back on again. Typical technology. Sensa sensational. That's all happening here. Don't the panic. Roof. Don't panic, Mishamania. Yeah, we're okay. Meanwhile... Oh! oh hard with a rejection. Good recovery by Dan. He's working up the broadcast side to get down the floor too. As Bruden now. Oh, he, he's ploughed into Clapsus. He, he's not happy with that one. And now Clark with it. Clark. Now yeah, Clapsus. Teams just need to settle here a little bit, I feel. White. Cross court to Newitt. Extra pass there. Oldham for the long two. Couldn't get it to go. Now the ball here with Bestwick on the spin. Now Collins. Bruden, once again. Just a stagnant point of this game. Mm, as Bruden finds himself to the line for two. Yeah, Claps is getting fouled there, uh, fouling there. I don't think he was necessarily a fan of the call, but definitely no. fouled. No. So finally to finish off the off the plug. As I so yeah, upload your shot to the Bruton Basketball Foundation website. You can enter and then yeah, they just require a small donation. And then the guys will take care of it from there and get up on their social media platform and whatnot. So uh, yes, make your shot and as Bruton goes to the line here for two and knocks down the first, so make your shot to uh, to get involved. And uh, it's such a great great uh, initiative that the Bruton Basketball Foundation are doing not only that, they run a lot of clinics uh, in Canberra locally and then around the country as well too. And uh, it's uh, they run a clink down here only just uh, last weekend as well. So great to have them on board. And as, as JB has mentioned, the famous saying from Cal, run, stun and have some fun. That's what we're certainly here for within the sport. And that's what we're here for tonight as Collapses on cue gets us the two. Yeah, nice basket there from Clapper. So, so margin's back to six. Yes. And I'll get the scoreboard right after paying no attention for the last minute. Uh, that's all right, JB. Uh, obviously working at all. Working many, many handles. And now Collins with the NFL-type pass in the collapses. And no. There's a foul. And to be fair, I, I think collapses is a little... He tried a sneaky there. He, and I think <laughs> if you look at the... He gets him in the air does bump him with the offhand, then tries to go up. The fact that he didn't get the offensive foul is purely because of that no charge circle, I think, Ronnie. Yeah, yes, I think so. Well, good luck to the commissioner if he's trying to make his way in tonight. Get the uh, get the tinny and the outboard out at the moment. Absolutely. Of course, the uh, c uh, commish is uh, he's, uh, unwell and uh, speedy recovery. See him? Oh. No doubt he'll be tuning in. Didn't know he was crook. Uh, he... Uh, he he has unfortunately got the COVID. So, uh, oh dear. Yes, no good at all. So, uh, yes, uh, speedy recovery, Kamish. Glad you're tuning in. Feel free to message if you are tuning in, just so we know the Kamish is tuning in. But yes, he's what he's uh, he's a big out tonight for the Titans as well too in the second yeah. game against. And, and that's not just from a physical standpoint. Correct. Yes, Yulmania will not be running wild tonight, folks. In the second game of a double header. Not ideal heading towards Christmas. Hopefully, he gets over it soon. Yes, very p good point. We are, um, yes, not too far away from the big man rolling in the town as Walker now is off and running. That's all you reckon Santa is, right? <laughs> this is a genuine question. This how is a bit. Now, this is, yeah. Jacob, how tall, yeah. You, how, would, how tall would you put Santa? If he yeah, was, how tall would you put Like a Santa regular Santa. dude? Like 6'5? What are we talking about? Six yeah, like five. A, yeah, I had I had, I had some of today. Uh, we're discussing the height. It feels that Sand is probably around that six five mark. Got to be able and to handle Walker at six whatever he, knocks down the three. He's got to be able to handle himself coming down the chimney. But he's probably got to be able to play starting two guard there for the um for the best of the North Pole. Absolutely. Of course, I've got a friend of mine in the South Pole at the moment as well too on work. 
<laughs> meanwhile, you know people. I do know. People. How do you know <laughs> someone at the South Pole? I didn't think anyone, anyone lived at the no, South Pole. No, he got, went down to the South Pole. JB, time out being called here. Uh, route, Ronnie. I, yeah, I pulled myself up there. That was nearly terminal. <laughs> that would have ended my broadcasting career. That would have been the old fraudulent <laughs> slip. Sheesh. Good grief. Forty-two thirty-seven, and as we know, Ronnie, our semi-final broadcast yes. of the twenty twenty-three. Tassie SummerSlam men's competition is proudly supported by the Bruton Basketball Foundation. Bruton Basketball Foundation reaches far and wide across the national basketball community, encouraging all players to run, stun and have some fun. Cal and his family have been staples of the Australian basketball community for over 40 years. Absolutely. And love nothing more than touching the lives of others through the universal language of hoops. Check out the Bruton Basketball Foundation on social media and at www.brutonbasketballfoundation.com.au. And, and, and just while you were reading that, uh, Cal has messaged messaged in and uh, thanks us for the um, for the uh, promotion which we've been plugging throughout the whole first half here and uh, he sent me the um, the link as well too to uh, as you mentioned there the website and take taking a shot making a shot and of course corporate um, businesses can get involved as well too so if you're uh, someone that is corporate uh, as well get involved donate big we always uh, yeah all the, the uh, donations go to a worthy cause and uh, be sure to, uh, yeah, get involved. Oh, so I was happy to uh, donate a, a small amount to, to help the cause. It was fantastic. As Nash now, couldn't get that to go. And Rose, well, third time. Walker, fourth time. I still can't get over the fact you know someone that's in the South Pole. Yeah, yeah. I'll coach you, I'll coach you son. Meanwhile, Collins <laughs> for the two. Sheesh, nice basket there by Collins to bounce it back. Margin at five. Becoming a bit of a grit and grind around yeah, this two possession game. Mini alley who play, not on. There's Clark now. Collapses. Under a minute to go here before the major break. Collins from deep is short on that one. Rose with the rebound. And Rose up the floor, wide, well deflected. Clark. Final 40 seconds. Yes, collapses now, slowing it down. Well, I don't think we're going to. Well, they are now slowing it down a little bit. It's chopping now, looking for White, goes to him now. So White going to work, likes the match up, draws the foul, veteran move there by Sakwa. Yeah, it was always going to draw contact on that fading away. 27.3 remaining, tuning in to the semi-final round of the Tassie Summer Slam. 2023 Summer League here on Chargers TV, brought to you by Live Healthy Eating, fast way and the right way, getting to Live Eat today. And of course, see that uh, Crayfishman's okay. mum and dad have jumped in. Yep, absolutely. Scott and Sharon. Absolutely. Yep, good to see them here as well too. Good, good news for Newey as well, filling out the uh, filling up the tanks. Yeah, well, where they would be. There's White. Well, plenty of water at home after tonight. I can tell you that yep. much. <laughs> there you go. White knock, knocks that one down. So marching back at four here is Walker now. Walker looking for Bruin here. Now on Q first, he's got it. So Bruin looking for a, an option here, or will we see that typical isolation play but that he's made famous over the last couple of weeks? Bruin with some moves. The razzle dazzle for the three. He draws the foul, and he'll go to line for three. Had drawn contact. It was very minimal. I do think he milked it a little bit, but nonetheless, he's going to line for three free throws. Will, <laughs> will he wants a review? <laughs> <laughs> He's actually given it the... I wonder room. if we need to check the live stream on here just uh, for us. No, I don't, no, I'm not throwing fuel on that fire. No, let's, 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 let's not. Meanwhile, Bruden at the line for three. And, and as, I, as, as we mentioned, that, you know, it was always, it's always nice to get feedback, and especially from the Bruden family as well too. Um, he, he, we, do, we do appreciate that feedback, by the way. And uh, no, very happy that we're plugging the fa the foundation tonight, and also the the uh, make take a shot, make a shot um, social media plug as well too. As Rose with the tip for the two, Damn. sneaky as you like, and then chopping. And well, last touch by Collins. No, and will now let's nah, see. Nah, not with point one. Will they put time Willie now wants on point the one. They are not, are they? Uh, yeah. Let's see what we got. I think we're going to put some time back on the clock here. No, half time. 
Okay. All right, half time. Eight points are marching. 48? Here. What? Is it? I thought it was 46. No, 48. Apparently, we're, Chobo. We're running with 48. Jacob, don't worry. You can have your chair back. That's you. Brother, I've been sitting down on my oort for three quarters of the hour. As we have... Okay, right. You're running. You've got clarification direct from the referees. Yeah, yeah. So the clock, um, so the clock should have, should have run as it was touched. Should have ran. Should have ran. Sorry. Um, therefore, yes, we are at half time. As the Elias Vanderkamp and Holly and Ash in the building as well too. It's a who's who around the place. Either that or it's raining. Or that's it's, that. Uh, that, that be out well, in the that too. Well, so. Half time though, Ronnie. We've yes. got we've had a tech check, so we're doing okay there. Yeah, we've yeah, got no, forty eight forty. We've been able to pay the bills there, which is good and absolutely semi final action, Ronnie, of course, as we spoke about. Utah's undefeated. They're now back out by eight. Six wins for the season. The rest of the competition combined for six wins. That is the level of dominance Utah's have had in this. They are just a well drilled unit. But right now for the Gladiators, they still you know. It's only eight points, Ronnie. Yeah. And they've shown that they can get on a hot streak. They've shown they can compete. Right now, they've just got to go out and execute that plan. I think they've got to get rid of that level Absolutely. of complacency, which essentially has sat with them now going, oh, we're not expected to win. Oh, boy, going to bring the, it is yeah. numbers, isn't it, Ronnie? Yeah, it, it, my word is We forgot numbers. about the stats. Sorry, stats. boys. The bo and, hey, hey, just quickly before we go, the boys are rocking some sensational shirts, by the way, too. Ronnie's a Bulls fan, just to clarify Absolutely that. Absolutely. No, a Phoenix a fan Fantastic choice. They won't be wearing them in three in about three months when the team's <laughs> broken up, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> yes, very true. You, Taz, Ronnie? Uh, Brook Brooklyn Bruton, the birthday boy, leading the way with 13 points currently at the moment. And then Fletcher Rose is doing a good job here. 11 points and 11 rebounds as well, too. So good double-double there for Fletch. And then next best with Jordan Walker with eight and Alice... Alex, best with six, that's your top four. Yes, best player here, Zach White. Eight points, three rebounds, three steals. You've got eight points, four rebounds, and two assists there to Xavier Clark. Also got eight points there for Michael Clapsis with a couple of steals. And we've got eight points, two rebounds there, Jackson Collins. Absolutely. So, uh, great to have the boys back here tonight as well, too. I know they were off, off a little bit sick as well, too, during the week. So, great to have them back in venue as well. You say that now? Yeah. Oh, it's just... <laughs> Hugging him. I hadn't seen him for a while. Oh, ah, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> yes. Clark. Clark just, Clark just started us off. <laughs> Meanwhile, Claps is... He's White now who puts it to the floor. And White, good hands by Collins. Chopping. Ball getting moved around here. So Clark at the top. Now trying to explore. Step oh, back. Yes. Oh, oh, damn. No good. It's a nice move. It was. Just in drop there for Clark. I'll tell you what I have loved, this running camera down low by MJB that we've seen the last couple of weeks, Ronnie, some of that sideline footage has been awesome. He's certainly uh, going to new um, stratospheres, that's for sure. Meanwhile, Bruno oh, rattles it from another stratosphere. Yeah, rattles at home. Half ton for Utah's margin at 11. And this is, at the moment, getting to some kind of interesting turning point as Collins though he tells me we're not done with yet Ronnie. He has just been smooth on that jumper Jacko there and that is a dirty little starker he's got going he's too. He's selling well as my member is I but he's keeping it. Good grief. I know most of the people shaved it off for charity. Meanwhile Bruden now. He's got the isolation he wanted. Yeah Bruden fires this one from deep. We'll say that's a pass. No we won't. <laughs> <laughs> Not after that. Man's ever isolated from 30 feet for a pass, Ronnie. Well, I could think of a few people as Sack White gets the two. I'd tell you to name them. They're probably too busy down the South Pole doing something. Uh, <laughs> no, he's certainly not down the South Pole. Up in the big fella's <laughs> bloody workshop up north. <laughs> Sheesh. Shout out to all the people up in the north, northwest of the state. Bruden now going coast to, well, from one point to the other side of it, but couldn't get it to go. Collins here. Is he, is he put on some moves? And couldn't get that to go though. So a little bit of, jeez, showtime. As White shows us his athleticism and last touched. 801 remaining third term here, tuning into Chargers TV. Rolling coverage of the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam, Summer League here on Chargers TV. Yes, semi final night, Joe Bay, of course. Grand finals next week. Yes, this will be my second last broadcast, Ronnie. I won't be around for uh, either grand final. Oh, no, yes. Uh, no, that's not good. I've never seen a man sound happier about it. Oh, no, no, no. I'm no, not. I see how it is. That's all right. Oh, right. <laughs> I got it. 
Ch <laughs> Jacob, you might have, you might have to. Um, oh Jesus! Um, you might watch. <laughs> I'm glad the J word was used. <laughs> yes, I didn't realise your drink bottle was there. You got the say fire truck running. <laughs> Don't need one we of them we, no, we don't need that. No, no, no. Definitely not. Clark now, who I thought potentially travelled there. Referees did see it that way as the ball goes back to Collins. Collins looks good. Oh. Oh, did everything but. Yep. And then White draws the foul. And yeah, it was a foul. Yeah. Isaac Collins. Oh, Got sorry. him on the arm. Yeah, foul on Isaac Collins. It's, it's quite funny. I think yeah. Isaac and... Matty Young have a very similar disposition. <laughs> they, they, and then they get that half stomp up, yeah. like a half aggressive stomping walk that doesn't really get them anywhere. Oh, it's like grumpy old men. Yeah, well, <laughs> Young is the oldest 30 year old I know, and Isaac's the oldest 20 year old I know. Yes, absolutely. And Sack White, of course, rattles at home. Rattles that one home and potentially could be suiting up for one more season with the Chargers. And of course, heard some news to the, um, heard some news from sources. Guards to the coaching ranks as well too, JB. Is that Rosella or Fountain Sources? Uh, well, one or the other, JB. I'll discuss that off air with you. Good call. As now Nash... We always seem to find ourselves in trouble talking about things we shouldn't on air. <laughs> yeah, correct. That is one of them. Of course, it, well, what we can reveal though, the NBL1 South fixture is out. We'll plug that a little bit later on. Correct. In the broadcast. First game up against, yes. up on the northwest. Yes, JB already locking in that he would love to go to Lawn System. Absolutely. Yes. For good reasons. Yeah, basketball reasons, Ronnie. Yes. And I'll head up to Northwest. So. so you might have to do the round robin trip with the referees, Ronnie. I could, depending on who's on the game, yeah, I could easily sneak a ride with them. Save the car a bit of mileage. That's for sure. Great cars, Mitsubishi. Not as, a, not <laughs> as, as Collins now puts it to the floor. Any chance. Collins going up strong. Draws the foul. It could be a baseline ball by the sounds of it. Jordan Walker's going to ask questions he's not going to like the answer to. No, definitely not. No. Is that shots? No, I no, wouldn't think so. It doesn't sound like it. Willie chose with a rare smile. <laughs> Jeez. That is a rare smile from Willie. Now back in the coach mode. Collins putting it to the floor now. Collins fires for three and knocks it down. And that is a one-point ball game, Ronnie. Half ton both ways Absolutely. now. Absolutely. This guy, Gladiator, is doing a fantastic job of staying in touch and keeping this close right now. Rose able to recover. Off glass? No. Collins doing a great job. Some good desperation here by Gladiators here at the moment. Really just hustling hard and making some good plays down the stretch. White. That'll be the lead. That will be lead. He won the foul. Referees didn't see it that way. And now they take, yes, as you mentioned, JB, they take the lead by one. We're down by as much as, well, 13 there. Yes, this has been terrific. Turnover. Mark Nash may look for the timeout button if we're not careful. White now with the ball carrying duties. Collins. Collins, White, Oldham is, it's not, not they bad. They are on, not, there's that time yeah, out. Yeah, time out. Not a bad little set there. Just a good enough ball movement. And then the shot by Oldham gets it to go. And we're back out to a three-point ball game right now. Massive run there in this one right now. As Brandon Cooper's just yeah, asking questions about something. I'm not too something sure. Well, I'm not sure. Just getting it. some clarification. But... Semi-final broadcast of the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam men's competition is proudly supported by Bruton Basketball Foundation. Bruton Basketball Foundation reaches far and wide across the national basketball community, encouraging all players to run, stun and have some fun. Cal and his family have been staples of the Australian basketball community for over 40 years and love nothing more than touching the lives of others through the universal language of hoops. Check out the Bruton Basketball Foundation on social media and at www.brutonbasketballfoundation.com.au. Yes, and of course... Um and uh, get, get involved with, um, take take a shot, make a shot um, as well. Don't be afraid to get your shot up on social media and make sure you tag Bruton Basketball Foundation and everyone else. Of course, I, I just noticed on the, when I just quickly checked the phone a little bit earlier too, uh, it, it's a lot of sharing of the uh, link tonight, JB, from the uh, Bruton fam. A lot. A lot. A lot. Yes. Fair to say, not like the other 36 notifications of spam we saw Last night, and then went block. 
Well, I'm glad that there was one particular... Well, I don't know about glad whether there was one particular member of the Chargers community that was awake at 3 a.m. commenting that, but anyway. Yes. <laughs> Moving right along. Well, Margins at three. Yes. Gladiators doing a fantastic job here in this ball game so far. Really testing you, Taz, as Collins with the bit of body English on that one. He has been the man here, Ronnie, and he's rallied them in this third turn. This is some sort of kind of fight back, come back, you name it. Really putting you, Taz, on their toes. Bruden going to work. Goes up strong. No call on the play. Collins into White. White chopping. He fires one for three. Couldn't get it to go. And then Oldham working his backside off there. Gets it back now from Collins. Oh, that's hurt. Hard hard hold, oh, that's not good. And three went up by Collins. Couldn't get it to go. Knew it gets it to go. He'll go to the line for one. And Dan Hardog waves he's sore. He's sore, but he's kind of, I think he waved to the bench to say, no, 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 I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, had a slip. I tell you what, they knew it. The great, the cray fisherman. Substitutions. It's Bruton goes for spell. And you can see just the Zave having a couple of nice looks there at Brooklyn. They are very happy right now with a chance to go eight up here after being down by 11. This is, but yeah, some sort of, some sort of fight back here by Gladiators. And as we, as we mentioned, JB, they, this is the team that's got nothing to lose. Literally. And it's just like, we'll just play with some, some freedom. And I feel like that's what they're ah, the going. fisherman the makes fisherman it. The fisherman gets it, the free throw to go. And all of a sudden, we're out to an eight-point game. Still got a quarter to play, though, folks. So plenty of basketball left in it. And it's Walker now putting it to the floor. Kick out pass, best week. Mid-range two, foul. Yeah, chased him out. Yeah. Knew it got him. It's after the shot. Yep. To referee Jordan Cooper. Yeah, ball was well and truly gone. Player was back on the floor. Absolutely. So Nash to restart here. Best week now. Going up strong. Couldn't get that two to go. Collapses with the rebound. Clark now. Jeez. Plenty of uh, advice from the uh, bench. Meanwhile, knew it. It's not White. the ball over they want. That looks good. No. Oh, not on that occasion, though. Now foul, and that's going to be on Oldham. Yeah, and I think what the referees are sensing here, this game is probably going to get a bit physical. Time to pull them up on it. Absolutely. Good job by the officials to control this one and keep it in in rain. I feel like I've got a switchboard in front of me. It's the power board, damn it. Nash. And well picked off by White. Clark off and running. Clark for the finishing touches. Yes. Ten point margin. This game is just swung and Mark Nash hands in his head. Cannot believe it. At least 21 point turnaround right now. Play continues on. Collins. Walker. Walker. Bestwick this time for three. Yes. Yeah, good response there by Bestwick. That's exactly what Utah's needed. Absolutely. And a crucial three in the context of this game right now. They want to keep this margin within, within single digits. Nash just trying to keep Bruton composed. Absolutely. Cool ahead to need to prevail here. Claps is working his way through. Good size there by Hartog, just taking advantage. Now Collins here. Into Bestwick, Bestwick, step and foul for the reach. Yeah, it. reaching foul there by Newitt. Yeah, Newey just overplaying that one a little bit. And substitutions here. Rose Bruton for uh, Hartog and Walker. 4 3, foul count. Collins to restart here. Rose down low. And foul. That's going to be on Oldham. No? Yes, it was on Oldham. Sorry. It's got my numbers muddled up there. So Charlotte, uh, now she's not throwing it in for the opposition. I was going to say, that's the first time I've seen someone throw a towel on the court. Yeah, it's the first time since last time they did it, Ronald. About three minutes ago. Oh. It's a long day. It's Friday, folks. Sure. Oh, it's a long day. Long day. Hey, you're right. It's be, been a big week. You're right. <laughs> of course. 
Pope's just been a lot. Nothing, nothing a couple of Vince McCann's won't fail. That, won't that, that's right. Maybe I need to get a can after, after this. Okay, we've had game. two slips in a row in the same spot. Spot. That might need to get attended to. Meanwhile, Rose. Good hands by Claps. This Rose able to regain. Oh, pass. Oh! Rejected by White. No way, Jose, on that one. There's Clapsis. Cross court. Clark. Clark. White. Back to Clap. Clapsis. Cross court. New oh, and he stepped out of he bounds. Did, he did. Oh, the fisherman got too excited, JB. And I tell you what, Jack Howlett's had a haircut and he looks like, tw like his 12 year old self again. Oh, God. And I'm, I'm not sure if that's good or bad. I think it's a nice haircut, Ron. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad someone thinks it's a nice haircut. Oh, far out. That's a drive-by. <laughs> oh, my God. Right. Back to the basketball. Fruit in there with the ball carrying shit. You won't have clip away or anyone sponsoring us any time. No, 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 no. Shout out to those good people at Cl uh, clip away as well, too. She's riding the hip hard. Yep, and ball went out of play, so uh, best week to restart. Four. four. Yep, four on the shot clock, JB. There's Collins, fires this one, arcing, runs! Oh, gets it to go down! Goodness gracious, great balls of fire. That, that oh, never dear. looked like missing. It didn't look like it was going to stay in the building, Ronnie. Thought oh, gonna, boy. thought it was going to certainly go down to the South Pole. Jeez, I nearly blacked out. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Sure. Good Lord. It's Numero all uno on the number one blaze there. That's dumb. That's D-U-M dumb. Yeah, my, my word. Four points are marching here. You, Utah's making a fight back. I don't even think he shot that. Eh? He just put it up. Oh, it would look like he threw it up. Best week. He goes up with a nice hook. Couldn't get to go. White with an aggressive rebound. Claps is here. Just on 90 seconds to play here before the end of term number three as... Claps is loses that one. Last touch by Rose. Tripped off you, Taz. 90 seconds to go. Third term. We are ticking along in a nicely contested game here, Ronald. Absolutely we are. Trust you are enjoying it. All thanks to the Bruton Basketball Foundation for jumping on board with us tonight. Here is White now goes up. Couldn't get that to go. And Rose with the rebound. And nice Rose. defense there by Zach White. The veteran doing it all. And now Clark with it. Clark slowing this one down. Clark goes up strong. Ball down. Hold on with a party trick. He went up straight away. He knew that contact was coming. He knew that contact yeah. was coming straight away. Absolutely. So good heads up play there by Chris Oldham as he'll go to the line for I, two free I'll tell points. you what, Carol, I don't know whether he has to put a donation in, but that shot while I was at Collins needs to be featured somewhere because that was... We might just cut that up, that I think, was ourselves, and we'll... Uh, <laughs> We might send that one through. That is, yeah, that was high arcing. Shot there and by Old Ham Sandwich. Yes, Oldham gets the first to go. Margin back out to five here. There's still a lot of time left in this game. Oops. Yeah. There is still quarter, still a quarter to go. As Oldham will go two of two. And now a little bit of pressure up the floor here. Rudin, looking to go. Trips it to Rose. Now Nash, open for three, yes! That's going to make a difference as well, margin at three. So really good fight back after you think Gladiators was really starting to get rolling, but Utahs have found their mojo in this quarter and have brought this one back, and we're back within a single shot. Claps is going to work up strong, rejected by Collins, good work there. Bruden off and running. Bruden with a couple to beat. Gives it off. Bestwick for the tie. Yes! Alex Bestwick ties it at 65. Massive shot there. Oh, it takes the lead by 65. No, they're going to fix it up now. They are going to fix it up. Should be 63 apiece. Should be. And with, it is now. We are tied at 63. Is Who's on the bench down there? They're that getting, would be Christy Nash if you'd like to go and say something, Ronald. She's, she's, doing very, a lovely job. she's getting very excited, Joe. Oh, I think she's having doing a lovely <laughs> job. Thank you, Ronald. No worries. <laughs> Sheesh. Got to get that ball in. That's all right. They, they get it over. We are tied at 63. 63 apiece. Yeah, 63. That, this game was a blowout two minutes ago. Yep, and now we are back to a tied ball game. This is what you want in the semifinals. White going to work. Into Oldham. Strong. Nice. Good clutch finish by Chris Oldham. Won't and count. And that won't count. And, well, what a great quarter we had, JB. And all of a sudden, Gladiators are up by two with a quarter to play here. 
massive, massive quarter. Stats will reflect that, no doubt, Ronnie. 65-63. Yeah. The Gladiators lead it by two. Yes. And that is just a... Um, that is a fantastic, that is one of the best quarters of basketball that we've had here all season so Abs far. Absolutely, and Bro Brooklyn Bruin leading the way with 16 points currently. And, you know, he's, find he's finding his mojo, five of eight from the field to two of three from the three. Uh, meanwhile, Alex Bestwick with 12 points. Fletcher Rose with 11 points. So the top and the main three, they're getting the job done. And where's Rose out with rebounds? 14. 14 rebounds currently at the moment. Jeez. So doing a great job there for Utahs. Of course, other side of things, Jackson Collins, he got the scoring started there for the Gladiators. 16 points total now with five rebounds. Four of eight from Deke, six, six of 11 from the field. Zach White, though, Ronnie, we saw the presence on the glass. We saw the presence defensively. 14 points, six rebounds, five steals, five of 10 of the field. And he's got eight assists to go with all of that as well, generating ball movement. 10 points to Chris Oldham to go with five rebounds. You've also got 10 points, five rebounds there in the way of Xavier Class. Yeah. Shout out to the boys there yep. on the stats. And, of course, a shout out to our sponsors, Ronnie. Yes. Live, eat, healthy eating, the fast way, the right way. Get into Live, eat today. Great sponsors of the... Tassie Summer Slam, the 2023 Summer League here on Chargers TV. And, of course, the semi-final broadcast of the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam men's competition, proudly supported by the Bruton Basketball Foundation. Bruton Basketball Foundation reaches far and wide across the national basketball community, encouraging all players to run, stun and have some fun. Cal and his family have been staples of the Australian basketball community for over 40 years and love nothing more than touching the lives of others through the universal language of hoots. Check it out. Check out the... Bruton Basketball Foundation on social media and at www.brutonbasketballfoundation.com.au. Over to you, Ronnie. Uh, foul was assessed there on Michael Claps. As I will, Alex I will. Bestwick went on the drive, but baseline. If you uh, want to clip up that little bit of audio there, Cal, I'll have a little commission in the chills. There we go. No worries. As Bestwick knocks Wait, down no the need. first. Of course, he already has paid the commission. That's why we're here. Yes, of course. Of course. Take yes. it as you wish, Cal. Absolutely. He can screen, he can screen record that. We'll, we'll give him permission. Um, as best we go, we got a tie ball game, Ronnie. Back to a tie ball game at 65 apiece. This game, Ronnie, I think we all expected this to not be the margin. Absolutely, I I, I don't expect it either. But we've got it right now. Bruden now, Lee lost the handle. Able to regain, gives it off to Bestwick. Back to Bruden as Mark Nash with play call here. Bruden looking to go to work. Now best to get the corner for three. That's three of 11 now from the land of plenty. Nash, he'll try his luck once again. And then Bruden, well, he came over the top. And that's a foul. And Bruden just needs to com keep his composure. Good work by Isaac Collins there. Just to reel him back a little bit. And substitution here is Walker will come in for Bruden. And that's good coaching. Good coaching by Mark Nash there. Just up again. Just let Brooklyn know that just stay calm. We just, we just don't need something that you don't need in this ball game right now because we're at a pivotal point in this ball game. Knew it. Fires for three. But the fisherman couldn't get it done. Couldn't rally that home. And the ball here with Walker. Bestwick now. Could we see OT running? Oh, we well, we haven't had it since what week one, have we? So first game, first game. Let's hope we get it. Collins now going to work one on one with White Walker at the corner. Step back, oh, three back on. Crayfishman running around for a new hotspot. Yeah, very true. Clapsus putting on some. Well, he goes strong inside, goes up strong, and rewards himself with a basket. Yeah, working hard there, Clapper to get that. So two-point lead. Glad he has to lead it. In what has been a seesawing affair type of game here, which has had comebacks and everything, just about. Best week from deep. Yes! Bitch. And they retake oh. the lead. He's just as cold as we think he is, Ronnie. He just keeps making baskets. Yep. Yeah, that's, that's 4 of 12 now from downtown for Alex Bestwick. Clark. Collapses for the response. Oh, there. just rattled. Rose with the rebound. That's probably number 15 or 16 in that category for him. Rose playing a great game, uh, especially on the boards. Walker now into Collins. Collins going to work. One-on-one -on -one with White. Collins, tough step back. Couldn't get that to go. Now Oldham. 
Oldham working his way down the floor. He found an easy opening. White, though, says, I'm open. And couldn't get that to go. Nice battle on the glass there. Yeah. Some good work there on both ends of the floor as Clapper gets that two to go. Nicely done by Michael Claps. Yeah, nice basket there, Ronnie, as I just try and... There we go. We're slowly through. Yep, yep. there we go. Thank you. All right. Best week now. Walker. Nash putting it to the floor. And, oh, yes, that will be a foul. Yeah, yeah. Clark, reach yeah Clark definitely reached. Yeah. Reaching foul was there. Timeout taken. 69-68, Ronnie. 7.05 remaining fourth quarter, first semi-final here at the Warrain Basketball Stadium for the Tassie Summer Slam Men's Competition 2023. We have a lot of hoops still to play and a lot of basketball here. We've had a game that's had everything at the moment except well, essentially waiting on the result. But it has been yeah. a really good backwards and forwards game. I mean, we spoke about it before. Utahs have as many wins as the rest of the competition combined this year. One sole win right now to the Gladiators, but they are wanting to make it two. And I tell you what, if they're going to play this, you know, stick it out, grind it out affair, there's a fair, there is a really good chance they can come away with a grand final berth. Absolutely, anything's possible right now, and both teams um, doing a doing a good job so far. And as we mentioned, massive thank you to the Bruton Basketball Foundation for jumping on board and. Giving us, a, giving us a boost here on the broadcast as well too. So always great to have Cow and the team helping us out. As Nashie just I'm gonna about revert, to get everyone in. I'm going to revert back to the monitor for the final seven of this one, Ronnie. Are no, you all right, mate? That's all good. Like I said, I struggled on Tuesday with the monitor, so I'm not even trying to tempt to do that tonight. Uh, it's all right. You'll, uh, you'll, get the, you'll get there one day, kid. You'll be yeah, right. Thank you. <laughs> Treating me like a rookie. <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs> Here's a first. I'm doing a six-year apprenticeship, allegedly. <laughs> yeah, apparently so. Idiot. <laughs> Meanwhile, ball went out of play. Now we'll go back to the Gladiators here. And a nice, healthy crowd on a Friday night too, Ronnie. I was yeah, sort no, of worried where we'd be for that one. Yes, yes. No, we, we, we are in the we are kind of in the midst of the Christmas season, so um, fair to say a number of events happening around Hobart locally, but good a good little crowd in attendance here tonight. There's White now. Clark, he puts it to the floor. Knew it. Knew it needs to fire this one and does. Off oh, goal! Oh! Knew it gets it what? to go! What? No, you can't do he that. He has to save that for two weeks' time. You can't do that. You can't be cashing checks you can't write. Questions will be asked. Oh, I'll tell you a lot. Good we Lord. demand an answer. <laughs> You'll be demanding an answer to the committee in a couple of weeks' time, JV. Well, you know well, where. It's a big committee to answer to. <laughs> Absolutely. Meanwhile, Collins... It's all right. The president won't be there at the committee, though, so you get off yes, lightly, I reckon. I think he will. Four-point margin now. I'll tell you what, Ronnie, we've seen the blowouts get it done, but it's just this little hump they've got to be able to break. Absolutely. He doesn't mind trying to turn it no. up here. Oh, good it. hands by best week. What is going on here? He knew he nearly got another one. He's blown out of his skin. <laughs> See what, Mum and Dad, we, Mum and Dad look impressed oh, about that. That'd be why he's putting on a show <laughs> with Mum and Dad and uh, the darling toe. That's why. Absolutely, as Bestwick gets that too. Yeah, nice finish there by Bestwick. So margin back to two. So Clark here with it. This, is, this has been a great game. This has been fun to call. Is Nash now able to pick that one off? Yeah, and just when you feel there's been a bit of a lapse in... Are you play? Jeez! I thought we was going to see something there. You're not allowed to get up that high, eh? No, I, I, he can jump, though. I know that for much. Yeah, we've seen the sneaky athleticism. Yes, Bestwick... Just off, wide able to pull that one in. Oh, nice hands there by Bestwick. The dead, the dead cat leaning over into the hoop there. Yes. yes. Tell you what, Ronnie, we should try and actually run the lead down to try and get it down on ground level at one point. Or we can make we can make that happen. Grand, grand finals next week. We might. I might try that. And Nash goes to the bench. Hartog's still been out since that slip, and I know he's had yeah. some leg concerns. Mm. I think Dan's looking forward to a, a nice, relaxing summer. Yes. Yes. A lot of us are looking forward to a nice, relaxing summer. That is for sure, oh, JB. Indeed. Absolutely. As Collins, unfortunately, couldn't get that three to go. Five minutes remaining here in the semi final, and the Gladiators lead by two. Can Utah's run come to an end? Can the Gladiators get just their second win on the season uh, for a grand final berth? I was going to say, can they pull an upset, really, uh, and win this one? Best week with other ideas as they retake the lead. He doesn't mind hitting a big shot either, Alex Bestwick. 
We've seen him do it time and time again. And he was up and about for that one. And, and why not? He's in the zone right now. And he's collapses now, looking to respond. Up strong. Couldn't get that two to go. Bestwick here, who goes to Walker on the break. Walker retreats out. Rose. Bruden. Ball getting moved around here, which is nice. Oh, great cut. And Brooklyn Bruden with a two. Oh! Sensational pass by Isaac Collins. Well, that was deceptive on the uh, monitor here, Ronnie. It didn't look like it went through the net. No, that was that was pretty perfect there by Bruden. There's Collins now. We are back to a three-point lead here for Utahs. As collapses, we'll make it a one-point ball game. Oh, it's just, it, you can't turn your head, Ronnie, right now. No. You certainly cannot. This is what semi-finals are all about. Absolutely. Always the toughest part. Bruden. Easy as you like. Yeah, just too good on the drive there, Brooklyn Bruton. Too quick. So three, back to three here. Three forty-three remaining. This is this game is just ebb and flow. As Clark now pulls up for two, couldn't get that to go. And here's where they can't get complacent here, the Gladiators. They've got to stick with what's worked. Utah's they've had that tried and tested formula, and they will run it if they need it. Absolutely. Walker now looking for Bestwick. Bestwick, who's had the hot hand. Couldn't get that to go. One thing I'll give Alex though, he hasn't stopped shooting. He has no, stuck to his game. He certainly has, Chovy. He hasn't changed anything up. He just kept going at it. And it's been good to see. Oh, claps this nice little move there. Into White. White up strong. And oh, just overcooked the layup. Now best hook once again. Getting Bruden to come up. These guys, are, these guys are tired, Joe B. It's the foul on Clapsis. Very tired. And I think, Ronnie, probably some difference yeah. for some of these guys too. We're probably going to be expecting a bit of a warmer game tonight. It's, it's cooled down, so they're sort of reverting back to their, their usual um, kind of conditions mid-season. Yeah, ab absolutely. Like I say, it's been a bit of a, a muggy day here in Hobart. And then, of course, we've had that big rain um, come through. It's obviously stopped rain now outside. But yes, I'm with you on that on, on that analogy. Gruden now gets the bump and a foul on Newitt. Yes, put your whistle in your pocket, Jordan Cooper. That's how it works when you don't uh, use the lanyard. Ridiculous it's idea. A, it's, it's, a tr it's true. It's true. Meanwhile, Collins into Bestwick. Bestwick looking to go up strong, couldn't get the two, Nash couldn't get the tip, Bestwick gets another one and there's another two. Yeah, nice basket there, so it's now out to five but there's still two and a half remaining and two and a half is all it took to spin in that third quarter, Dan Hartog long sleeve on, I don't think we'll see him the rest no, of the night. I think he's done and well, the score here from uh, Gladi, oh, and that walk over up, let that one go out of bounds and that's a poor turnover by the Gladiators. Right now, you want to get a stop here and try and regain some, some momentum. As Bruden looks to go to work, Bruden tries to go to that dish. Now on the baseline. Substitutions, two shots. We are in the team foul limit. So, Brooklyn at the line here for two. 206 remaining. And that one can't go down. It's getting the legs under him. Yeah, basically. And Bruden goes one or two. Marching at 60, still with 206 remaining. This game is not over. White. Into Clark. Clark goes up and the two back to four. New dad again, Matt Young back in the building. Ah, yes, he's here. He's, he's here, yes. He'll be suiting up in our next game. Taz taking, uh, sorry, Swisher taking on Tyler. Come to you shortly by the Chargers TV YouTube channel. Nash. Rudin. Rudin nearly lost the handle, regained it. Step back three is good oh, by Brooklyn Bruden on his 20th birthday. Oh boy. Jeez. 
That might be a dagger. That could well be. I reckon that might be the game. White now chopping. Chopping pulls up from the free throw. Yes. Yeah, nice basket there. So margin back to five. Still, I don't, still not. You just don't know, do I you? Just, yeah. I think if, if you can, Gladiators, if, if you get a stop here, get number two. This game is not over. Gruden. Shot clock at eight. Fat, and foul on Collins. As Brooklyn Bruden will go back to line for two. So Bruden at the line here for two. And Gets the well, first. <laughs> You'll take that one. Margins at six. Absolutely. I tell you what, a nice little birthday present, I, I guess, for Brooklyn. If um, if this game does go the result his way, yeah, not a bad way to spend your twentieth. That is for sure. Collins, kick out pass, chopping from deep, couldn't get that to go. White, he couldn't get that to go either. So opportunities were backing, but certainly didn't capitalise. Now Walker from the double team comes. Collins. Now Bruden here. They're just milking the clock here. Yeah, they're just going to run the clock. Bruden at five needs to get busy. Bruden, nice crossover move. Get out of here. White. Oh, no, fouled. Was it a foul? Yep, got him on the body. Oh, okay. Foul assessed on Sack White. And Brooklyn Brew will go to line for two. Twenty-three point three rema remaining. He misses the first. Regardless of what we, uh, regardless of where we're at now, this has been a good basketball a game. Very good basketball game. This a high quality great, basketball yeah, this game. This has been great to, great to call. And um, Bruin goes one or two there. So eight points on margin. Now ball quickly up the floor and Walker got a hand on that and I think that's all she wrote. As now will the fouling game continue? No, Brooklyn Euro step and adds another two to the party. That's a ten point margin. They were up by eleven, back by were. ten. So Collins will need to get a quick shot off if desired. White will try his luck and that missed. And now we'll do it. Well this game had it all basically and New Taz found a way to get that win and win it by 10 won what was probably one of the best games we've seen throughout the season. A very good game here, Ronnie. Of course, backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards, doing as good as they could, trying to push through. Of course, it was a 10-point lead there, well out to 10 points at one point there for Utahs. And then the swing looked to be another 10-point there to the Gladiators, and then it gets out to a final 10-point lead on the margin for Utahs, who are 7-0 and through seven games. And I don't know, Ronnie, someone once famous, famously said, cannot possibly lose it from here. Correct. A lot, lot of pressure on them going into next week. Yes. Now, I know there may be a more uh, talented side that may be taking the floor next game who will be looking to uh, get to the grand final. And you would think by all means that that particular team on paper would be favourites, Ronnie, but I dare say that if you go 7-0 in a season, you have a right to be uh, deemed the team to beat. Absolutely. Let's have a look at the top scores now for you, Taz, and leading the way, Brooklyn Bruden, 29 points and three or four from deep, which was pretty good shooting, 9 as well from the field overall as well too. That's um, some sensational work. The, the boys have finally clicked that they can sit down and do yes, the stats. The stats. Save burn on their legs. Absolutely. Alex Beswick with 24 and went 5 of 15 from the land of plenty. I've never seen one man throw up 15 attempts in a game, but there you go. And then Fletcher Rose, 11 points and 18 rebounds. He was very, very handy in what was a fantastic win by Utahs. Over to Gladiators, Ronnie, they had uh, 16 from Jackson Collins, who had five rebounds, most of that in the third term. Zach White with a triple-double, 14 points, 10 rebounds, 10 assists, five steals, had a really nice outing there. Uh, Michael Claps has 14 points, three rebounds, and two steals with four assists, 12 points, four assists, 
and uh, five rebounds for Xavier Clark. Chris Oldham, 10 points, eight rebounds as Utahs, 7-0, will look to go into the grand final next week. Will they take on Swisher? Will they take on the Titans? That is yet to be seen. But, Ronnie, we're going to take a quick break. Yes. We'll swap the commentary duties over. Absolutely. I'm not looking at the monitor, though. <laughs> no, that's all right. I'll call from the monitor. It doesn't worry me. <laughs> Quite happy to do that. You're tuning in to Chargers TV and our rolling coverage of the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam Summer League here, thanks to Liv Eat and, of course, the Bruton Basketball Foundation.
Hello everyone, welcome back to Chargers TV and our ongoing rolling coverage of the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam Summer League here on Chargers TV. Of course, a big shout out to Live Eat, healthy eating the quick way, the right way, getting to Live Eat today. And of course, our semi-final broadcast of the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam men's competition is proudly supported by the Bruton Basketball Foundation. Bruton Basketball Foundation reaches far and wide across the national basketball community, encouraging all players to run, stun and have some fun. Cal and his family have been staples of the Australian basketball scene for over 40 years and love nothing more than touching the lives of others through the universal language of hoops. Check out the Bruton Basketball Foundation on social media and at www.brutonbasketballfoundation.com.au as I welcome Ronnie back in, and mate, that was a barn burner of a first matchup. We are hoping to see that the uh, second time. We've got a broad. Who are you talking to? And so do the so do the folks who you've just spoken straight into your microphone to. Y yes, thank you, Jordan. Yes, I'll whisper now that. You're <laughs> You idiots, as I welcome you into the broadcast. Uh, again. Yes, hello, JB. Yes, hello, everyone. As, uh. Oh, yeah, young, you just. Shout out to Dad. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he knows it too. He wouldn't be running off much sleep, I don't reckon, the great man right no, now. No, no, I don't think so. He's a young, young score bench there, too. Yeah, run by, uh, Ethan, Orange Peel, oh. and, um, Eliza Vanderkamp. Yeah. And I tell you what. She's actually going to be as bad for them as much a help as she's going to be for them as well, <laughs> Ronnie, I dare say. Yes, absolutely, Jobo. As we get underway, Ronnie, yes. three wins versus two wins in this one right here. Three to Swisher, two for the Titans. Do you know what? I might update the score graphics for the folks at home. We're yes. getting you sorted there. What are we expecting here, Ronnie? Oh, I expect this to be a good matchup. But, you know, for you know, with the Titans, it's it's about, you know, how do you contain Ollie if you let Ollie have his way? So um, as Hargrave knocks that two to get us going, though, JB. Nice start for Swisher. Certainly, Ollie won't be the, you know, Ollie shouldn't be the, Ollie should be the focal point. But if others can step up and score like Hargrave did, makes it for a tough night for Titans. But I think they're equal to it. Crennan went for that one there, couldn't get it to go. No, with, with the Titans, so they've got a, they've got some outs. Jeez! As the alley you play. Wham, bam, jam. Thank you, ma'am. Dunk number one for Ollie tonight, and Ronnie. This yeah. is a man that could be putting Wilt Chamberlain level numbers up on this uh, particular evening, Absolute, on occasion. Absolutely, JB. And that, just to get his mojo going. And, you know, Ollie will just be that dominant force as we know, as we know and who we've come to see. Oh, McCarthy. Oh! oh. Will that count for oh, points? That'll, that'll count, yes. Points are good, Lockie McCarthy. McCarthy from there. So he from opens, the long two. opens the account up there for the Titans. Now... Three wins, of course, to Swisher, Ronnie. Two to the Titans. Yes. The Titans have been competitive. Had a couple of games that they were able to run away with. Uh, one of them actually being against Swisher that we saw earlier in the season. Absolutely. And, uh, you know... Point goes down at the free throw line. Yes. So this game is crucial in, in nonetheless. I think both teams have got a lot to play for here, JB. So this is going to be, um, as I say, an interesting matchup tonight. But how do you contain the offensive juggernaut of Oli Angerstein? Well, I tell you what, Matty Young playing interior defence, it's not something we're used to, but it's something he's going to have to do. As Crennan gets away from that one there. Jordan Peel now with the ball. Wants to go over to Crennan, short corner, does. Has to get Angerstein in the air. Does a little, fades. Doesn't matter, Angerstein with the ball now. Some serious biceps on that big, on Angerstein as well too, just by, yeah, I grabbed that one-handed, Chad. Oh, Griffiths goes up. Nice drive, Harry Griffiths. Well, Harry just found the opening there quite easily and just attacked the rim, and I'd love to see that more from Harry. From all I've heard, Ronnie, the most valuable member of his social netball team too. They don't score when he's not there. It's as simple as that. Ah, oh, ball fake. That's an interesting statistic you're throwing out there, Joe. Yeah, we got that from a, a, a very eagle-eyed housemate, I'd say, Ronnie. Oh, I was going to say Angerstein there. I thought, geez, Lewis Crennan, I'm yeah, about to start praying for look. you, son. Let's see what we've got. Now, is he Ollie's... Is it a foul? Yeah, I think. Is Ollie walking to the line for two? Must, must be. He is walking. Yeah, it yeah, was. So was it was foul. It's a quick I just wasn't sure whether he was fouled just a fraction of a second before he took off. Mm. As he misses that one. And that might be the only good sign there right now. Yeah. For the Titans. Absolutely. But Angerstein can shoot around that 70% mark from the strike when he's on running. Yes. 
Going to need to make eight of his next, uh, seven of his next eight to do it. Absolutely. Though. So we're live again. Fuel gets inside, dumped down. Crennan, oh, gets the defender in the air, was fouled, earning his way. And I'll tell you what, both the Cooper boys have done very nicely with the whistle so far this evening. On. Yeah, no, they've done a good job. Uh, great and, and great to see, you know, um, uh, Brandon filling in here for, for, for Beck and, uh, and, and Jordan's being consistent throughout. Um, so that, that's been good. But a good work by Lewis Grant just to get both players up in the air. Of course, the, as the, the coaching advice is around, stay down. Um, you just don't fall for those fakes. You know, you just keep, keep grounded. I'd rather a hard close out. Uh, rather than you jumping and, and drawing a foul. Okay. So that one's deflected away. Can't believe I'm reading that. We'll get to that. Well, oh, no. not on air at least. No. As okay. inside goes Young. And Ollie, just a nice little flick of the wrist there as he goes over the top. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. This, it, the box out game is going to have to be. You know, Tottenham's going really to have to crash the boards hard. And keep Ollie out of the paint as much as they can, but and that's going to be a tough task. I think too for Matty Young here, as much as he doesn't mind trying to uh, bait the opposition there in Hargrave. Yeah, this is a final. It's not something he's going to want to play into very no, much. No, certainly Get not. Get out of here, Lockie McCarthy getting upstairs there, Jobo. Oh, and then Young, easy as you like there for Young. Yeah, just picking them apart. Yeah. McCarthy again wants to go up, drives the contact, taken away there, and away goes Griffith, slowing down there. Noah Clark. Goes up. Oh, sure. Boo, oh. umpire. Boo That's earned. a nice assist. Absolutely. Off the blown dunk, might I add, from Angerstein. So margin now. Back out to five here. You're tuning in to Chargers TV. Now coverage of the Tassie Summer Slam here. Crennan for three. Nails it. Margin back to two. I think that's going to be the other thing too, Chobie. Just the crucial crucial shooting too for, for the Titans and making sure that they're consistent knocking it down. When you don't have those you know, those veteran players that they've, that they've had, shooting is going to be a key focus for them tonight. Stewart defender in the air. Angerstein, wham, bam, jam. Thank you, ma'am. Well, this is becoming just too easy of a commodity here for Foley. I mean, he puts himself in the right spot and this is just... No, there's no matchup for him to go toe to toe with. So, Ollie could have a field day right now, uh, which he is. And if this keeps going, there might be a record for how many dunks he can um, he can make. Yeah, well, he's got two in the first four minutes. We might have to keep a dunk tally. Yeah, well, no doubt the uh, team will be able to chop that up if they want a little bit of extra work to do. Absolutely. Nice drive by Clark. Goes baseline yeah. the left hand. And Noel Clark with the uh, buzz cut, Chobe. The buzz cut running. Well. He nearly went well. He's got, he barely got anything on top. Oh, He's no. gone the full, He's the full wahoo. Yes. Has finished year 12. I wonder if it's some form of dare, perhaps. Potentially. And not the iced coffee type. McCarthy splitting the D. Four on one here. Can they not score? Well, they've tried their best. Young's ball <laughs> faked nobody and scored. <laughs> How does one score off that, JB? Well, it's more a fact. How do you. Ow! Sheesh! Anthony Stewart is not really good. Good Lord. That's three. Three. Make oh, a, defense. A, <laughs> God almighty. It's all happening here. It's all happening. I mean, the lights are on in the bar now. The uh, Christmas lights. Uh, the, it's a nice little uh, <laughs> feature going on here. As we continue to run through, margin at three, Swisher, control of this one. Young steps out, wants to square it away, does, tie ball game. Regardless of what Swisher doing down one end, you know, there's still some good play by the, the Titans down the other as Griffiths gets that two to go. Yeah, and just, I think that's the only thing. It's the transition day of both sides here. If an easy score gets in, the other team's very lackadaisical getting back on the defensive end. Yeah, I just wonder if... if uh, we'll get Clark with that three there. I just wonder if... Um, we, we, we swish it there. They, they, they get a little bit too complacent at times on defence just because of the big highlight down the other end. Yeah, and well, I think there's probably a level of complacency as well, knowing that Ollie's there as young, he loses that one straight out of bounds. I think that's the level of complacency that does turn up, Ronnie, the fact that there is Ollie down there mm. and that there's a level to be able to rely on his size and know that, oh, look, if I get blown by, I've got the big guy down there. 
that's okay, but you've got to utilise effectively. You can't just be blown by. You've got to be able to feed into the defence. Yeah, absolutely. I think that's a good point you make, JB. And right now, you know, to, you know, two point lead. That's nothing compared to uh, compared to what we see. So, Hengstein now just he's got to have a field day here. Yep. Just too big. Just too strong. Just too good. I mean. He, they're just gonna, uh, I think at some stage you're just going to have to go to the old-fashioned double team. And as I said to Peely today when I bumped into him, you're just going to have to swarm on him. You've got to force, a, you've got to, force him to make a decision. Yeah, absolutely. If he is one-on-one, -on -one, that decision's easy. I'm bigger, I'm stronger, I'm just going to make that score. And that's a nice runner there by Stratzma. Yes. As this Time one, out. Not yeah. 21 to 15, here on Chargers TV... 21 to 15, there is the update there because poor old Ethan, hands in his lap, legs crossed, he's not sitting on the mat at school, he's currently sitting on the bench here of the Tassie Summer Slam on Chargers TV, brought to you by Live Eat, healthy eating the right way, the fast way, the right way, get to Live Eat today and of course our yes. broadcast sponsor for the 2023 Tassie Summer Slam men's semi-final, proudly supported by Bruton Basketball Foundation. Brute Basketball Foundation reaches far and wide across the national basketball community, encouraging all players to run, stun and have some fun. Cowley's family have been a staple of the basketball, the Australian basketball scene for over 40 years and love nothing more than touching the lives of others through the universal language of hoops. Check out the Bruton Basketball Foundation on social media and at www.brutonbasketballfoundation.com.au. 331 remaining here in the first quarter, Ronnie course for those that are just joining us a real seesawing affair absolutely despite was. what uh, everyone thought was going to happen in our first game of the evening Utah's yeah they're 7-0 and Ronnie but they had to work for that 7-0 and margin yeah they, they did and what you know gladiators 13 down they come back take the lead they get up by a bit all of a sudden Utah's find a way you know on the defensive end they found a way and then make that run and there was who can who could make shots and who could make that momentum stick at the end? It was Utah. And that was one of the best games we've seen throughout this season so yeah, far. Yeah, certainly one of the two best men's games that we've seen so far. Back in this one, though, Titans trailing by five. And they just keep making inroads, but there's that big number 12 who's just making a massive difference inside on both ends. Clark wants to go isolation on Stratzma. Can't do it. Ball fake. Goes up strong. Jumper no good. Howlett back in doing his best impression of Year 6 Jack. Down the floor. Looks like Ferguson's into this one as well. Stewart and Hargrave take a spell. Will Davey get to see action. Drive inside, Stratzma turning. Corner, Ferguson, three. Oh, Couldn't get that to rattle. I say, no way. Angerstein, just too big, strong and good. Again, just finds that knack and... Ollie just, yeah, as you mentioned, too big, too strong, JB, and we, he's, he's, I just think he's going to have a, he could be on track for 40. Big shot there. Callum Fox. Yeah, the old Fu Man shoe, Ronnie, too. That is a, a bloke that has had a genuine starker for about 18 months now. Abs and yes, absolutely. It is a good looking Mustaka. Howlett step back, doesn't matter, Ferguson. On the drive, attacks in the air, draws the body. Angerstein from the clouds. Get out of my way, he says. Sheesh, four. I'm more, I'm more careful about the roof now. That could go at any point. <laughs> yeah, all race the roof. So you're going to need to at this point. <laughs> yeah, abs absolutely. Four dunks in eight minutes for Ollie Angerstein. I was going to say, when, if this gets to a point, I'm hoping this game doesn't get to a point, but if it does get to a point, when does Stewie shut down the operation? That would be a question and a half to ask. Kick out pass there is Ooh, Fox. Oh, the he's making them both rain. Hello. Callum Fox from downtown. Yeah, back to back there. Fox really working hard on his game. Has played Domino Senior. Yes, of course. Uh, good to see the Ogs here helping out of the bar. Yeah, the Southern Wolves and Domino's. Yes. Really a dual home venue here in the South running. The only And the only club room in the South, by the way, too, folks. Which is insane to think. Yes, absolutely. I'll leave it at that. Oh, Harry. Good oh. defence by Clark. Clark. Oh, get up. Oh! Get that out of here. Follow that up, he says. Damn. Damn. Jeez, I didn't realise Geordie was that fast. Yeah, Good no, Lord. he chased down, abs yeah. hunting like a panther. He got some legs on him, that boy. Absolutely. My Substitutions goodness. as Will Davey. 
been away for a couple of weeks there. He, uh, of course, been, but he went to Perth for a little bit and then, of course, represented GYC at the Australian National Schools Championship, of course, JB. So it's good to see Will back. Rebound there by Ollie. The numbers are going to be very interesting at uh, quarter time, right? Absolutely. Grab, yep. Stratzma open three. Ooh. Wanted to get the return. Rebound by Brown to Peel. As he saves that in the corner, threads down to Clark, who threads it himself straight back to uh, Stratzma. So, 57. So, seconds remaining in this one. Howlett. Good ball movement there. Davey corner three. Got it! Yeah, nice shot by Will there. Re and really good, you know, set of his feet there. And I've seen that time and time again from Will this year. Great, great look. 28 21. Oh, was Yanny oh, trying to split for a couple there? Or? I don't know. something there, but it wasn't It wasn't never going to work. Yeah, I think he's got baby brain at the moment, poor old youngie. Of course, uh, a dad again for the second time in the last couple of weeks. Yes. Congratulations to him and Cassie I, and yes, Estelle. Yes, congrats, yes. The family just keep on growing. Absolutely. Because Peely's just thrown that away to Clark, I though. Peely was trying there. Recovered with four seconds to go on the shot clock. Needs to go, turn, step back, fading. Couldn't get that to go. Oh, and Young. I haven't seen him inside getting an offensive rebound since the dawn of time. He gets that one, though. And 11 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Let's see what Swisher can try and pull out here. They go to hesitation. Sets of hands. Davey now from Howlett. Oh, Stewart. Oh, oh that is deep. Archie Stewart right on the quarter time buzzer. Hello. Time out. No, full time. No, quarter time. Hang on. Quarter time. Quarter time, cheese. Quarter time. Jordan Cooper. Quarter, e e quarter, time. quarter time? Are we confirming? Quarter time? Quarter time? Quarter time? Okay, yeah, yeah, right. right. Okay, mate. Referee confirming it is quarter time. Oh. We just weren't sure, mate. Quarter time here oh, on geez. Chargers TV and our rolling coverage of the Tassie Summer Slam Summer League for 2023. Ronnie, thoughts on the first term? Uh, a good quarter by both teams. I think if um, Titans can just tighten up, <laughs> tighten. If Titans can tighten up their defence a little bit, yes, yes, that too, JB, with JB's headset off. Um, if they can, if they can just kind of minimise the impacts of Ollie Angerstein, I mean, right now in this ball game, they're certainly still in it. I mean, they're only eight down. Funny enough, their offensive production has been has been good, so that's really kept them in it. But it's more the defensive end that I'm concerned. And then when I look for the scores here for the Titans. Youngie has seven. Uh, Callum Fox with six. And it's gone two of three from deep. Lewis Cranham with five. And then McCarthy with three. And Clark with two. Ollie Angerstein, 19 and nine in the first quarter with oh one my. block. <laughs> hey, hey, right. that, that is all we need. 19 that, and that, nine in the first quarter. And that says it all, pretty much, Jacob. And, um, yeah. It, 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 even the cameraman, it, it, uh, our good friend, Jacob. That's, that's not bad, 19 and nine. You're doing he, all right. He's doing pretty well, isn't he? Yes, just nod. Yes, thank you. Good. Well done, Jacob. Yes, well done. Yes, I'll tr we're training you up for next week. Uh, no, we're not. <laughs> no, it's all right. No, we're not. Don't calm down. Sheesh. <laughs> Trading the great... Yeah. Be fair. Oh, I decided to leave and the broadcast has gone up the blur time. <laughs> going on here? 31-23 at quarter time, thanks to Live Eat and Bruton Basketball Foundation. Fast food, the easy way, the right way. Get into Live Eat today. And, of course, the Brooklyn... The Bruton Basketball Foundation would have been celebrating Brooklyn's 20th birthday, Absolutely. particularly with that win in that last game. Absolutely. I can see Cow uh, shouting the fan for dinner on that one. Oh, Three. Youngie. Oh, jeez. Where's that Xavier Dersmer arrow that he had going a couple of seasons ago? Ronnie, I love that. It was a beautiful it celebration. It was good, actually. <laughs> He's trying to hype up the crowd there. <laughs> yeah, it's going mild for him. Catch and shoot Will Davey. Oh. Good response, Will Davey. And Ronnie... Will really growing into his own over the last six months as a player. Absolutely. And as I've said in, in previous broadcasts, been lucky enough to be around our under-18 representative uh, squad at Hobart Phoenix. And I've seen Will develop uh, leaps and bounds this year. And it's really great oh, to see Oh, youngie on the hustle. <laughs> really great to see that paying off And he dividends. is tired. He's, yes, he needs a breather. Trying to get a feed in hit Angerstein. He's down in that dunker spot. Davey again wants to go in. Angerstein does. Oh, oh, thread the needle. The idea was there. Fu Manchu takes it away in Fox. 
Ollie trying something different there. Ferguson keeping his hands out of it. 34-26 here, 8 our score. Oh, young he misses. <laughs> Got a little too excited there. <laughs> he missed, ev missed everything. Uh, well, he hits it, went off there. Oh, Stuart. Oh, jeez, oh, what was that? I was going to say, look out. Went in optimistically, and I tell you what, came out misty optically. No look there by Youngy Crennan with a score. Yeah, nice work there by Lewis Crennan. Make sure I got the right. They're only get, like I said, they're only down six. I mean, right now, you just run some nice sets here if you, if you swish up. Well, that's the thing. You've just got to try and burn clock here. Double trap over in the corner. Kick out Stuart. Corner support there, Ferguson not used. Stuart, oh, step dish. back, Crennan. Three, thank you, Mother, for the rabbits. Number five, five eye. <laughs> What's wrong, Ronnie? You, uh, you get hit by a stray. I think so. If this keeps up, we'll all be getting hit by a stray. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> oh. Yeah, man's threat. <laughs> I think poor old Lockie McCarthy tried to foul, but it was just yeah, very inadvertent. Uh, and the wide sub there by one, A. Stewart. Oh, okay, the... Um, Oh, on the oh, house. Thank you very much. House. Is that just for me, Dan? Oh, nice. Really? Sorry, Ronnie. All right. You... We'll deal with that later. Thank you. I'm gonna... I'll have to uh, run that one over in we... a second. Oh, we'll... And I will translate a message from Cal Bruden. He's just gone on the text line to us. Very That's no great. That one's missed. Fighting there, Ferguson. Kick out, taken oh, by Clark. Clark. Oh, here we go. Oh, get up. Oh, good D by Davey. Gets rid of that one there, Ronnie. Yeah. And they get, Swish got it back, so good defence by Will David to really hustle on that play. Get that somehow to reject and then off the Titans um, uh, player. So that's a good heads up play there. And there's a response there by Peel who does the same thing. Jeez, that's the loudest I've heard May Armstrong down there. Good grief. Yeah, all down right down there in amongst yes, the fam, the ladies of the uh, ladies of the Peel family. Yes. Absolutely. Shout out to Dan and Ange Og there, providing us with uh, a light refreshment in the evening. Greatly yes, appreciate fantastic. it. Fantastic. Clark for three. Nails oh, it. So yes, all sir. of a sudden, this game's getting back. Margin back within five. Yeah, and I and I just think again, it's. Uh, I'm not sure if it's some complacency on defence if you team Swisher because you're relying. I mean, not that you're relying too much on Ollie, but right now you just think that you just sometimes with, when you're going through that offense with Ollie in a game like this, it's not like going through motion. And a beautiful move there by Will Davey. They had Ferguson in the corner, close out with Stewart. Howlett rolls nicely to the hoop, that, points that was, on the board. That was a much better offensive set, I felt like, from Swisher. Good ball movement, good take, and then a good take there by Lewis Crennan. Foul there. Crennan will go to the line for two now. Ronnie, if you'd like to translate that lovely message there from uh, Mr. Bruton. Oh, yes, yes, abs abs absolutely. Let's see. Oh, he, he just goes, uh, you guys are the best. Uh, JB, I miss getting our photo. We'll be back soon and look forward uh, to, to it. Um, and I'm catching up with Cow in Adelaide, I've been told. So Very right, good. Okay. Uh, regardless of the uh, situation throughout, throughout the, this week. It's all right. I'm sure it'll be a welcomed... Uh, Welcome relief, Ronnie. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, you know... Second opportunity here. We'll touch on that point. We, we, we will. I think I'll, I'll, I might just make a, a small public statement on, on that. Small. Uh, I could make it big. I hope not. No, no, we'll make it small. Safer than sorry. Yes. We have to remember what network we are and what state we're in. Correct. Oh, oh Hargrave, Hargrave through two. Big move. And Ronnie, Geordie Hargrave plays his best basketball and he's willing to compete in and around the rim on both ends. Absolutely, and we've seen that throughout our Chargers uh, coverage as well too, JB, that he can be that, that he, he can be that glue guy that you need and that blue collar work guy as well too on the boards. Yeah, around the world, three times drops down there for Stratzma. Anthony Stewart. They we lead by 10 right now. Oh, Peel. Ooh, Too shot. far on that yeah. one there. It's strong. Oh. Second by Clark, taken by Stratzma, who's not happy. Mm. And Crennan tips that one out into the squash court. As substitution comes in here, Matty Young. I just think, oh, wait, time out? Okay, we've got a, we got a time out here. Yeah, so. Time out taken, margin at 10, 42-32 in favour of Swish. And of course, Ronnie, you did mention you're looking to catch up with the Bruton family in Adelaide. Yes, yes, no, looking, for, looking forward to that. I, obviously, I'm looking forward to a holiday first and foremost. It'll be the first time I've taken a holiday in God knows how long. Well, Ronnie, I'm just trying to think last time 
No. Well, yeah, quarter time apparently, according to the ref. So, <laughs> Good geez. Jesus. Has uh, been a while since you've had a break, Ronnie. It'll be yeah. a well-earned one there. But, um, yeah, over to Adelaide and then off to the Philippines to see family. Yeah, would be good for you. Absolutely. You know, looking forward to the trip. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to, you know, catch out with, with with the Bruton family and 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 look the situation that has happened earlier in the week I, I feel for, for CJ and and hope he's doing okay and I know there's a lot of support around him right now which I think is fantastic to see and you know I think um, in any sport you never you never want to see someone um, lose their job mid-season no. um, so we feel we do feel for that um, I, I won't make any further comment on the matter because it's not appropriate but it's more than appropriate for us to say um, we're, 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 you know, we're sticking with CJ and um, you know, we, we feel for him right now and we can only hope you know, he'll come back if he gets another gig and another opportunity, he'll come bigger and better for it. So um, you know, shout out to CJ and uh, you know, like I say, I am looking forward to uh, yeah, catching up with him all in Adelaide very soon. Ball through sets of hands here. Howlett to Stratzma. Ollie's still on the bench there. Young stripped that? I believe he did. But apparently he, he, he thought it'd come off Hargrave's leg. <laughs> so the case wasn't, um, unfortunately, met with a verdict. And then peeling Strasma. I think he's trying to double foul here. Yeah. Well, they were both holding each other there, Joe. Yeah, he's trying to double foul. Yeah. Because there's a, a bit of shirt grabbing, a bit of, bit of lock up there. So. And Jordan, <laughs> they're both saying they're going to have to close their oh, arms here. Oh, jeez. That is he, quite he's funny. trying the innocent man there. Oh, Davey from deep. Yes. Nice shot there, Will Davey. And again, Ronnie, just a player whose impact right now doesn't need to be a star, but he know, knows he has to lock in defensively and knows when his number's called offensively, convert. Yeah, and, and Will st really stepped up as a leader as well, too. We've been, uh, you know, we've been all peel. No. Sheesh. Um, you know, and, and we will. It's Hargrave trying to claim yeah. Carl John, Carl Lewis level of long jump ability. Jeez, good, good grief. I don't know who Carl but, Johnson but is. We, but we, just quickly back to Will, you know, he he, find, he, he finds the, his moments and he doesn't chase, chase the game. Let's the game come to him. And on that occasion there, terrific look, great finish. Oh, McCarthy. Shot there from McCarthy's too long. Couldn't quite get that to go. Kick out pass there. Hargrave trying to work inside. Kick out Davey. Oh, his number's been called again. Couldn't quite answer the phone on that one. Hargrave trying to force out of bounds. It's Clark now. Margin at 13. Gets that one to go. Cuts it to 11. Wanted contact. Referees didn't see it that way. Driving there, Hallett to the basket and one, Jack Hallett. Number called, Ronnie, and again, for a lot of these guys here, it is a matter of what do you do when your number's called. They've got to score and convert. And that's exactly what's went on. That's exactly what's going on there. Yeah, abs absolutely. And, um, you know, great cut by, by Jack there, really good feed into him, and he's able to finish as Harry Griffiths will, will come in for Will Davey here. And, you know, I say for some, as you mentioned, for some of these youngsters, it's important when their number does get called up, that they take full advantage of that. Oh, so the great Rick Stratford's right up to broadcast. Yeah. G'day, great man. You know, Long time say, no see. <laughs> I was going to say to Rick, there's an effects mic there, so if you shout anything, we'll hear it. That's all right. That's why he's there. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> you keep him quiet, apparently, he tells us. Good to see the great man in the building. Yes, no, I was, I was, I, I was just mentioning about how we did, I didn't realise how quick Jordan can be running up the floor, and he certainly swatted that one back in the uh, last quarter there, Jobo. Yeah, really made up ground there, just hunting like a panther. I'm just not sure if he if that's from Dad's jeans or Mum's jeans where he's getting that athleticism. Well, I've seen Rick down at social. It's definitely the Rick man. All right, it's definitely good. Rick. Good, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> so shout out to Belinda, who's yes, no doubt watching yes, at home as well. Belinda, hello. <laughs> she was tuning in Monday. Loved seeing the work that Maddie's put in. It's good to see all the kids. Yes. Really getting involved in it there in the Stratzma family or Stratzma family, it depends yes. which one we choose. Choose, yes, correct. Of course, Noah in WA at the moment, FNBL 1 West. Hargrave just battling again, tried a little too hard on that one, couldn't get it to go. 47 34. Four minutes to go here in the, sec in the second quarter, first half, either way. 
Spare hand in there. Clark takes it away. Ooh. Angus Stein just couldn't get that. Young catch and shoot. Oh! oh hey. That's to the camera. Says g'day. And hello to you too, Young. You've got to be kidding me. Beautiful. Nails that one. Jesus. And yes, confirming Belinda at home on the couch, enjoying it. That'll be a late call there on Crennan as he milks the uh, contact there. Uh, young, ne young, he never ceases to amaze me at times. And on that occasion, once again, Young, he just proving that regardless of where we're at, um, he can just knock him down. He, but if he can get on a hot hand and just bring this pack within single digits, that will, that will make things really interesting. Yeah, well, we've seen we've seen Youngy go knock him knock him down in in quite a heap. The margins at ten. Inside, I tell you what, poor old Noah Brown's going to have a handful here. Just couldn't quite. That's why. Jeez! Woo. Get a body on him. That's too big of a man right there. That's uh, that's too big, too strong, Joe. Man. Too big, too strong, too good. Oh, geez, he's lucky. Oh. I tell you what, Peely gets the hoop, but I'm, I think it's lucky that Ollie was wary of that dump down because he wanted to chase that out into a I was going to say, <laughs> just gave Peely a free pass there. Youngie needs to get back defensively. Here we go. And Youngie's <laughs> just trying to... He just can't do too much there. Well, I tell you what, he's actually, to overplay him like that, he's done all right. Yeah, no, that, that's not a bad defensive sequence. Well, I'll tell you what, it didn't, probably didn't deserve a stop, but it's a nice body on the uh, on the physicality there. Oh, he's just put another one up. Oh, no way. No, definitely no way. Old Jose said no way. Absolutely. Couldn't get that to go. Oh, just over the top. Oh, Youngie oh. with the, he's cheating on that one there. That's the most defense I've seen from him. Oh, showtime. <laughs> I tell you what, that's a nice secret. Stewie not happy. He's not, no. And I tell you what, though, maybe it's something like this. They just need to... There it Absolutely. goes. Jeez. Bang. Done it again. Wham, bam, jam. Thank you, man. It's only, uh, it's only 8 o'clock for crying oh out loud. Oh, my Lord. Lord. Half ton on the board here. And about 10 dunks. Yeah, we'd have to be close. He's already got the double-double. There's poor old... Now, Noah Brown... Tell you what, hard enough task isolating with Brooklyn Bruton last week. Try yeah. playing man to man with Ollie Angerstein right now. Absolutely. Oh, Whew. Harry Griffiths. I know he's going one. the lob there. It has, but he's. I think he was looking for it. I'd love to see Ollie just kind of throw throw the arm back and really give it a good. I, I tell you what, I thought he was going to break his hand when he tried to crack it against the backboard and warm ups. Yes. Oh, youngie. Oh. oh. Yeah, just a little too confident. It's <laughs> oh, another it. steal. I oh, know why. No. Thank you. He's very <laughs> lackadaisical on that front. I do like the uh, level of casual there. Clark having an absolute... Olivia Clark having a laugh there, I should yes. say. Oh, Peely. Nah, too no. confident. And this is one thing here. I know they're having a bit of fun and enjoying themselves, but you can't get complacent in those possessions. Yeah, there's a bit of fun and games about it, but you've got to lock in to get the points. Jeez. Off offensive foul. Peely got there in time. He did get there. Big offensive foul. Schwarz, body contact though. And a timeout taken by Jeremy Hill. He'll want to chat it over. 107 remaining here. Timeout yeah. taken as they clarify and this one clarified. here. Clarified. Good grief. As players are asking the question that was from the player and Young just asking there where that wet spot. 107 remaining here, second term. You're tuning in to Chargers TV and our coverage of the Tassie Summer Slam semi final broadcast for the Summer League here in 2023. Of course, thanks to Live Eat Health Yearding, the fast way, the right way. It's Live Eat Eating every day. And of course, yes. Ronnie. The semi-final broadcast of the 2023 Tassie SummerSlam men's competition is proudly supported by the Bruton Basketball Foundation. Bruton Basketball Foundation reaches far and wide across the national ball basketball community, encouraging all players to run, stun and have some fun. Cal and his family have been staples of the Australian basketball scene for over 40 years and love nothing more than touching the lives of others through the universal language of hoops, as Ronnie fans down the cameraman. <laughs> Check out the Bruton Basketball Foundation on social media at www.brutonbasketballfoundation.com.au as the cold drink bottle tries to cool down young Jacob there who's I'm done a mountain of work well, so I'm not far sure, for I'm us. not sure if Jacob's feeling the heat because Ollie Angerstein's thrown out about 10 dunks in this game already. Um, or I don't know if it's the actual humidity here in the stadium currently at the moment. Well, it has warmed up a little bit. Yes. There's no doubt about that. Yes, it, it's heating up. still raining out there too, I believe. Yeah, it's still starting to perk up a bit. Yeah. 12 points of margin, 53-41. Minute to go here, second term. 
Nice shot there by Cow Fox, the Fu Manchu. Couldn't get that to drop. Just be interesting to see here what the, the sets now for Swisher. Oh, nice move by Griffiths. Kick out, pass, corner, Stratzma three. Peel. Just off Angerstein yeah, though. Yep, just. <laughs> I think we know who that definitely came off. Yeah, looked pretty evident to me. I, I, yes. Now. 35 seconds remaining. What do they need to do, Ronnie? It's just, again, get, get, get through some hand. I like that. I like the screen coverage here. That opens up. Good look there from Peel. I just short. think Peel needs to go straight up with that jumper, Ronnie. He gets yeah. a bit of a fade and a kick. And I know sometimes you can't help it. But if he's fading away, he's got to put a lot more energy in the arms. Yeah, and we teach, them, and we teach guys to really just go straight up on your shot. Don't fade because that doesn't help um, with your overall momentum within your shot. Stewart's got too much room to operate oh, there if he I, wants it. I so thought does, he was going to take it. So does Ferguson for three. Angerstein gets it. Turning. God! Sheesh! What is, I tell you, that might bounce in. It won't count. No. <laughs> Time. 55-41. No, the wire's still shaking. Good yeah, man. them guide wires. I tell you what, in a lot of buildings, you're getting a lot of work right there. That is just ridiculous <laughs> shooting. Unbelievable. It is a timeout, apparently. <laughs> it, doesn't uh, it doesn't phase you. It doesn't, it doesn't phase, phase us. It's the team that doesn't know. Yeah. As Eliza Vanderkamp <laughs> continues to get the album out of poor old Ethan. At half time here on Chargers TV, Tassie Summer Slam. 55-41 our broadcast, Ronnie. Hey, Stuart Peel just uh, texting in. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'm going to read that one. Now. Oh, May I have a look at it, Ronnie, and decide? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Not too, not quite sure. Oh, maybe the defensive play. Yeah. He's obviously getting the speed from his... Yeah, um, I, think, I think so. Clearly getting the speed from his from yeah, his mum. Yeah, <laughs> stats roll in at half time, Ronnie. Swisher at the moment. Ollie Angerstein, casual 23 and 15. Everyone else in single digits. Over to you. Okay. <laughs> well, that's the quickest recap of scores. This man's got 23 and 15 at the half. What else do I have to say? Yeah, that's, that's very true, Shaver. Youngie leading the way with 13 points, actually. Um, three six from uh, the three-point line and five and 12 from the field. And then Noel Clark has nine, Lewis Crenn has eight, and Callum Fox with, with six there. So it's not too bad. It's, it's just like it, it, this game is in single digits. Okay, different story, and we talk about the, the complacency on one end from the other. But now that it's kind of ballooned a little bit out, I think some missed opportunities for the Titans. Correct. In, in regards to, obviously, their offensive phase. And it's, um, yeah, and yeah. it's just that level of complacency. You're right to be confident and up and about in your game. I don't think anyone's going to deny the fact that they want to see a confident team that's up and about and enjoying their basketball. But you still have to convert. It doesn't matter how fun-loving you are, it does win your games. And you're Absolutely. In, a, in a final, you're not here to participate. No. No, you're certainly not. And, jeez, uh, these Swisher boys there just having a good old yarn. Ollie's uh, up and about. Archie's in some different stratosphere. And Harry Griffith's just uh, really, uh, yeah, commenting about uh, Ollie's dunks earlier. So... Yeah, something about trying to throw a Jordan-level dunk from Space yes. Jam from the half, I think, Ronnie. Yes, well, if only we had that type of CGI. I tell you what, there'd be a few players wanting to see that level of CGI in their <laughs> games, I say. <laughs> Absolutely. That and they wouldn't believe I've had my third can of Coke already. Yeah. It's sensational. Second half underway. Yes, That's man. yours, by the way. Yes, I know, Joe B. I'm, I'm coming Probably to move it. that one over. Yes, yes, we'll yes. Otherwise, Joe B will take it. You're not wrong. That one missed by Brown. Rebound, Angerstein. Rebound number 16. Another pair of shoes potentially going to Ollie. Of course, you can get up voting now in the Tassie Summer Slam for yes. our round four. Slowly getting those up. Oh, drive by Ferguson. He was fouled. Oh, that tip jam was so close. Uh, it wasn't going to count for anything, though. No, Second underway. Certainly not. Ooh, hang on. I'll move that away from Jacob. So 9.33 remaining. We've just started our second half here. Of course, our first game saw Utahs getting the win in a scrappy affair backwards and forwards. They'll be advancing. The winner of this game taking them on. Good to see Stewie Peel still chewing, tuning yes, in. He's yes, he's tuning in. We know it's well, where is see. he tuning in from this time, Stewie? Do we know? Is he yeah, in the caravan on the northeast or wherever? Gallivanting around the countryside? He could, he could be anywhere. He could be at the fire station. The, what, the Ronnie, it's raining. Why would he be at the fire station? Oh, you never know. It's the two coast Shot by Clark. Let's hope, you let's have have to, uh, brother, you've got to have stories ready for when I cross. 
<laughs> Good dear. 14 points of margin, 57-43. Swisher. You would think they get out to about the 20 points here and they'll be able to make oh, a difference. Oh, good hands by Peel. Good, very good hands by Peel. Brown settles. Of course, good to have him in. We talked about his efforts. He's not really playing on that right hand either, Ronnie, so no. I do I do wonder if he's okay. He does look sore. Peel goes inside. Step through. Get oh. out. Don't worry about it. Raise that from the textbooks. Angus Stein's going to have to really prepare himself here. Well, good contest by Brown. Tried to take him up and had to angle it. Angus Stein at 6'10", hard to compete with. Down the lane, wanted the rise up, doesn't matter. Stuart pump fake three. Angus Stein, I don't know who he's competing with. Brown was standing out of bounds as he went to touch it. And that's a lot to compete with as the sub comes in, Davey. It is a lot to compete with. And, yeah, I just, mm, right now it's just more to, defensively here stops. And it's really going to have to try and limit the touches of Angus Stein limit the touches of all the Swisher guys here and try and really disrupt them if you can. Stratsma 3 nails it. But 60 on the board, so this margin now running at this, 17. This is ballooning out and this is going to be a bit of a tough kind of pedal back here for, for Titans. They really need to knock down some shots here. Shot there, Clark 3 nails it. There we go. Nothing on, but net margin on, at 14. On cue. So, just need another stop here. Will we get a three out of Ollie? Right? Oh, I do. oh, look, if, if the game continues where it's at, there's potentially that. I mean, you have to do one, at least. Fox goes down. So does the uh, long two there by Ferguson. As um, Stewie's still not happy with Will Davey trying to uh, make a defensive rotation. Yeah, Stewie, I don't uh, know if you can do that on the offensive end, Stewie, though, Stewie. Yeah, that's right. Stewie trying to be the perfectionist uh, and really just nitpicking at the while the, the, this team is up by so much. I think it's going to be our two best teams all season, potentially at the moment, playing in the final. Oh, absolutely. Jeez, that was yeah, optimistic yeah. by Clark. I mean, shot clock winding down, though, you need to get something up. So, Correct. I mean, Clark did try to do the right thing, but that just, just wasn't the, the greatest shot to take. So we go through sets of hands once again. Margin at 17. Stewart upstairs, gives it straight to Young, who threads straight out to Clark, who tries to... Oh, Euro step round with a score! That's nice there by Clark. Lovely move there by Clark. Oh, hang on. Oh, yep, he's on, he's on the text line. Good Who's this? Uh, Stu. Where is he at, Ronnie? Uh, yeah, he's still typing away, Joe B. So oh, we'll geez, he's got him. him. You've got prep text. What's going on here? How many people do you have just getting random messages? Oh, it's, good. It's, it's good. As we say, text line's always open. Margin at 15. Ferguson, corner. Three makes it. So that's now back to 18. Big Stewie Peel's tuning in. No doubt from the fire station, apparently, Ronnie, in this wet weather. <laughs> no, no. Apparently, actually kicking back in the spa. Oh, what? In this weather? As Come on, Stu. You're as, taking as, the P155 there. As the family car, as, well, as the family car was full, a.k.a. the mother-in-law at the stadium. But don't okay. worry, tomorrow's fishing day. Well, I don't know whether all of that was meant to be on air, but nonetheless it is. <laughs> Shout out to uh, the Peel family who are in attendance. Davey off glass uses the English there margin at 20. I mean, if we're broadcasting half my holiday itinerary on air, JB. You go on to Adelaide and then you go on the Philippines. I'll give you two stops. That's not <laughs> half an itinerary. That's airport. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> not to go up much of holiday if you're spending half of it at the airport, Ronnie. Yes, that's very true, JB. God. Anyway, 20 points of margin. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we're all complicated individuals. Yes. Brown goes inside. Oh. Jeez, Angus Stein just said, get out of here. Unbelievable. Oh, thread the needle. Oh, Ferguson the running the floor gets it. Yeah. And time that timeout, that is required. Definitely a timeout, says Jordan Cooper. Yeah. 70 <laughs> 48. Yeah, you know it too. Good grief. 22 points our margin, of course, brought to you here by Live Eat Healthy Eating, the quick way, the right way, getting to healthy eating with Live Eat today and of course a big shout out to our semi-final broadcast sponsor for the 2023 Tassie SummerSlam men's competition, Bruton Basketball Foundation Bruton Basketball Foundation reaches far and wide across the national basketball community encouraging all players to run, stun and have some fun. Cal and his family have been staples of the Australian basketball scene for over 40 years and love nothing more than touching the lives of others through the universal language of hoops. As Ronnie has managed to... Are you actually okay, Jacob? I do have to... 
You're very warm. That's all right. Okay, I just thought I'd check. <laughs> Ronnie's actually pulled a proper fan out here at this point. Touching the lives of others through the universal language of hoops. Check out the Bruton Basketball Foundation on social media and at www.brutonbasketballfoundation.com.au. Ronnie, Ronnie, this one is <laughs> running away. Absolutely. Abs absolutely. Is this helping? No. Yes, kind of. Okay. Yes, this one is definitely running away. And it, it def and definitely, JB, right now, I mean, it's it's a tough task, but, well, I mean, we saw it in the first, but though there was more intent in that first game. I feel like in this game, we just seem to be going through the motions a little bit. Yeah, and right now, I think the other side of it too, Ronnie, is when we've seen a comeback like this, albeit against Swisher, it's going to be, um, it's a different type of uh, team trying to do it. Absolutely. Ferguson with the rebound. Just continuing to push through here. Davey ball fake goes down. Angus Stein just casual tip dunk. Couldn't get it to go. Davey with an opportunity was fouled. And one, Will Davey. Now, he probably should have done that the first time. Second time a charm, though, Ronnie. Yeah, absolutely. Chance to make this a quarter century margin as Angerstein heads out for a spell, and why not? Absolutely. absolutely. I thought Angerstein was um, trying to... Um, we had 19-9 in the first quarter. He didn't have to do much. He, he oh, was, well, I thought he was really trying to go for that reverse jam. Yeah, well, I mean, sorry... If it was 19 or 9, 15 to 9, this man was on track for 36 rebounds and anywhere up to 70, 60 to 76 points. I don't know whether we need that in a game. No, no. Because I'm telling you now, we wouldn't be running any form of vote for a man who had anywhere above 40, let alone 50. Correct, mate. Correct. Bad pass to Hargrave. Couldn't utilise. Stratzman gets it back, though. Wants to. Can. Does. And good, good look there by Jordy. Just, um, again, good patience there on the offensive end. And Jordy just sticking that one down nicely. 27 points our margin here on Chargers TV for the Tassie Summer Slam semi-final action of men's competition. The winner of this taking on UTAS in our grand final next Friday night. We hope you can join the coverage there and then. Clark from deep pulls up the jumper. Couldn't get it to go. No chase on the rebound whatsoever. As Swisher just get out and run. Howlett down low. Wanted the dump. They've mucked around with it. P155 fluffed about. Very audacious weighted pass. I don't know why that was done by Howlett. Drive by Peel. Goes English as Young with a putback tip. Couldn't oh, go on Hargrave okay. in the crowds. We talk about that talent, that rebounding there, Ronnie. And that looks like Jack Dolliver in the crowd hiding down the corner. Ronnie is Davey. Makes it 30 points. Uh, Down in the corner next to Falcon. Yeah, yeah, that would be Jack. I yes. believe it is. Another young footballer in the state. Yes, no, he's uh, going leaps and bounds, that young man. Young to McCarthy. Dumped down, taken away. Howlett wins to feed to his cousin. Looked to be off Clark. Not that you really need to complain about possession when you're up 30. It's Fox with the Fu Man shoe heads into the game. Young will head for a spell. Ruby and Coco, Aaron in. Look like they're on some form of babysitting duty, but mildly. Max Davey in as well with uh, Kylie. Ferguson's in. Surprised he hasn't come up to the commentary booth, Jamie. No, I think he's a little nervous. We might actually put a headset on him, Ronnie. Yes. Hargrave. I mean, it, I know Max can talk, but can he dribble as much as us? It'll be interesting. Yes. Up. Yes. Oh, oh, peel yeah. off English. Nice mask uh, finish Beautiful. there. And the family are happy with that one, Jamie. Huey cheesing beers down in the spa at home. Absolutely. What a place to be on a Friday night where it's absolutely cats and dogs with rain yes. sitting in the spa. spa. Oh, boy. As long as there's no umbrellas put up around the place, he should be safe. <laughs> 78.50. Pass. Ferguson. Three. Can't get that to go. Rebound by Howlett. Wants to thread. Does. Kick out. Stratzma. Open. Three. Couldn't get that to go. Rebound by Peel. 2.45 remaining here, third term. Chargers TV. Semi-final action of the Tassie Summer Slam. Step back, oh, peel, peel, fading. Oh, yes, sir. And gets at the drop. Still don't like, the, don't like the up and under on the body. Margin cut to 25. Uh, good shot by Peely. Got that under drop. Howlett is his, year, is his uh, year six best haircut. Much tighter you look for uh, Mr. Howlett. Wants to post up inside. Stratzma, they want another possession inside. Stratzma relocates to the corner. Nice passing. 
Ferguson, they've all touched the ball. Can he finish it? No, he can't. Targrave has crashed into his own teammate. Taking it away. Howlett not happy. As we just give uh, Jacob a bit of a spell there, make sure he's okay. 81.53 as that one drops down. Margin at 28. It's through. Shot. Clark, flat as attack. Rebound, Ferguson clears that away. McCarthy, proppy off the rebound. Hope he's all right. Davey with a short corner option, didn't use it. Shot for three. Banks it home. Oh my goodness. Jeez. I don't know, Ronnie. Oh. He's played the game, his best game this season tonight. And he has to bank one off the window. But why not if you're in form as he goes in the Absolutely. air there? Absolutely. Long shot there by Fox, and that's exactly what it was. Not a three, not a two. Well, yeah, of course it was a two if it wasn't a three, JB. Oh, footwork by Fu Manchu. Scores yeah, that one. Again, it done there, good old cow. That's uh, not lovely work there by Callum Fox. 84.55. And that was back court. He hadn't quite got into the floor. 84.55, substitutions into the game. Griffiths and Stewart for Stratzma and Ferguson as Ollie Angerstein could be sipping on a coffee in the middle of um, London. He's very Such as he is very relaxed, He's Ronnie. very casual as you like to. Nearly reclined, in fact. Oh! Appealing. That one goes down. 84-58. McCarthy takes that away. And here's just that intent. You just wonder, though, Ronnie's a little too too little too late. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that might be the case here, JB. Oh, oh the thread. Oh, is, is that, that a goal ten? It will be. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, that's a goal ten. No, that's a goal ten. Yeah, definitely. The only person in the building who didn't think that was a goal ten was Geordie. Even Ollie can't believe that he doesn't <laughs> think that's a goal ten. He, he has a bit of a smile on his face. Yeah, that was pretty evident right there. Any interference goes from there through hands. They're just slowing this one down. Davey, hesitation himself. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Oh. He wanted the highlight reel. He did. It's a nice move. I really think he did. Ten seconds to go. Clark wanting to work inside. Griffiths reaching. Clark keeps hands. Give and go. McCarthy, that'll be an assist. Yes. Beautiful ball movement. That'll be three-quarter time. Won't count. Nice lob there from Davey. And that is a hell of a move there by Clark. At three-quarter time, Ronnie. 63. Is that score meant to be more? I don't I don't know. I had 62. I don't know. Maybe I pressed the wrong button. Don't know. I'm not sure, JB. 84-63 nonetheless is in venue. Three-quarter time. That's what we'll run with. Stats will be with us momentarily. 21 our score difference, Ronnie. They are just running away with it right now as the stats come rolling in for Swisher. 29 and 17 with three blocks to Ollie Angerstein. 22 now to Will Davey. He's dominating. 10 and 8 with five assists there to Stratma. And it'll be 10 and 4 with three assists there. And assists, assists for Will Ferguson. Well, Noel Clark with 16 points currently at the moment. Matty Young with 13. Hasn't moved since halftime. Lewis Crennan with 13. And then Callum Fox has... As you like to describe him, JB, Fu Manchu. Oh, Fu Manchu. Uh, it is got, has got eight points currently at the moment. So, not a bad spread of scorers there, actually, for the, for the Titans. Regardless of being down at the moment, there's been some good spread of scorers. They've just given up too many things on the defensive end, which has allowed uh, Team Swisher just to keep on keeping on. They are keeping on and keeping on, and that's exactly what our sponsors are doing for the season, Ronnie. A big shout-out to Lou Veep for their continued and ongoing support <laughs> here at the Tassie Summer Slam. We'll get to that in a second. Text line is open. And Text not line is definitely Stewie, open. Stewie wondering about the spa again. Oh, he, 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 goes, he said never give up on them, Ronnie. Okay, no worries. We won't give up on them, Ronnie. No, we certainly won't give but up 21 on them. But 21-point margin right now, outscoring your opponent by 22 is going to be a hell of an effort. Oh, yeah. Big shout out, of course, to Live Eat. Healthy eating, the fast way, the right way. Getting to Live Eat today. Their continued sponsorship of the Tassie Summer Slam here in 2023, and of course, a shout out to the semi-final broadcast partner 
of the Men's Tassie Summer Slam, Bruton Basketball Foundation. Bruton Basketball Foundation reaches far and wide across the national basketball community, encouraging all players to run, stun and have some fun. Cal and his family have been staples of the Australian basketball scene for over 40 years and love nothing more than touching the lives of others through universal language of hoops. Check it out at Bruton Basketball Foundation on social media and at www.brutonbasketballfoundation.com.au. Margin at 21 to start the fourth term. Ronnie, what do both sides need? Is Ferguson, well, that's certainly a good start. Well, that is a good start if your team's squisher. Um, that is for sure. But it's going to be the defensive end where Tyne's going to really knuckle down and then they have to convert on the, on the offensive end. I wouldn't mind just seeing a little bit of change up just to try something different, just to see if that might spark a bit of energy. Uh, you know, maybe drop into a zone or something for a couple of minutes just to try and help that that cause. But the way the offensive production is going by Will Davey, um, this game might be well said and done. Pretty crazy to think that he may very well have a 30-point, may have a 30-piece tonight, Will. And unfortunately, it's evident he's not the best player on his own team. Yeah, correct. So it's somewhat going through the motions here in this fourth quarter. Young trying to get that to go. Couldn't Angerstein's going to almost have 30 and 20 this game. I repeat, he may have 30 and 20 in this game, trying to set space there. Stewart, catch, shoot, throw back iron, no good. Rebound, Young, goes oh. to thread the needle and miraculously does. Cow Fox now, thread oh. over the top, will keep the camera moving. Well done, Ronnie. Yep, there we go. Can't call on the monitor if I'm looking at blank floor Correct. space. <laughs> Cow Fox nails that one. 66 89. Might have to put a pause on the text line, I think, for the moment, just so we can get on with the, get yeah, on with the business. Yeah, I was going to say, we've gone back to a two-man booth here at the we'll moment. just give Jacob a bit of a spell. Yeah, no, Jacob's... He's, he's OK. He's R&Ring. Yeah. It's Davey, couldn't get that to go. He'll be, he'll be all right. Absolutely. Oh, I'll tell you what, Howlett's actually saved that. I think he thought he was out. Crennan gets that one over to Fox, who wants to go on the drive. Oh. Nearly makes the play. I'll oh. tell you what. I mean, cre are you credit that to Crennan? Yeah, I've got to credit it to Crennan. It's like being fair to Flair. Credit to Crennan. Nice one down, 89-68. 7.30 remaining fourth quarter, and you would think Swisher will go on to take Utaz in the final. A lot going on here. Howlett gets inside, kick out. Davey had a game, just puts it up. Not everything's falling for him at the moment. I thought it was. Griffith slowing it down. And you would think both sides just want to burn through the clock and get out of the building here this evening. I think so, JB. I think it's just trying to, right now, just get through some good sets. This group, it's five. Fires went up. Oh. 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 Yeah, okay. Ollie, big rebound, big score. That'd have to be 20 rebounds now. It'd be nearly 30 points. 91 on the board. The ton will no doubt be uh, brought up. They'll be raising the bat proverbially. Young took about four steps and got no points for any of them. Leading pass there. Get oh. out! McCarthy puts Stewart against the backboard. Absolutely he did there, Jobo. Neither side happy there, you wouldn't think. No, definitely not. Oh, can McCarthy reward himself? No. Oh. Deserved play after the block. That difference of Kareem right now. Davy going inside. Kick out. Taken by Harry Griffiths, who I thought was going to do a sneaky little one there, Ronnie. Oh, I but thought, I, makes thought the so. I was going to say shades of State League from a couple of years ago. That was under 22s. Oh, it was under 22s. Yep. Yes, my sincere apologies. It's the only time I've seen anyone tossed off the score bench anyway. 93.68. <laughs> one couldn't go down. <laughs> poor old Maradona was still kicking there and doing the score as well that <laughs> oh, evening. Yeah. We, had it, we had everything going on that yes, evening. We did. Floater up there. That was a floater. I think Angus Stein knew it. Couldn't get it to go. And I think Angus Stein will go for a spell. Yeah, so it's a wise move. Can we have a running go, boys, on Angus Stein's stats now he's gone to the bench? What's Angus Stein got now that he's on the bench? Can we have a look? Just quickly going to have a look, Ronnie. We might not see him again. 25 points, 22 rebounds, and three blocks to Ollie Angus Stein. Yeah, I, yeah. No Tw brainer. 25-22. Oh, oh, Young with the nod. Oh, get out, get that though. Out. Just think Young, he probably should have gone upstairs on that one there. Couldn't. Five minutes or so to go in this one. Drive. And bo both sides here just been a little too fancy with the basketball. Yeah, too much razzle-dazzle, Joby. We don't mind running and stunning and having fun, but in the final, I think even Cowell would agree. Got to get yeah, the win. Yeah, absolutely. Davies tried to outplay himself there. He recovers.
Isolation there, Stratzma. Up top, wanted to use a screen, couldn't. Griffiths inside, laid entry, taken away by Peel. And Stewart is taking his shoes off. He intends on seeing no more part of this game, which is probably saying a lot, I'd say, on the rotations of this team right now. Kick over the top there. Howlett wants to go up. Oh! Whoa! Pump fake. Let's make sure he's okay. Yeah, I was going to say, let's, yeah, is Peely all right? Yeah, oh, hang on. They've got to be careful to get him yeah. on his feet. I, and to be fair, nice work from Howlett. He's done the right thing. Oh, absolutely. It's just, yeah. as we talk about. Now, did that score drop? How did it go in, did it? Did the score go in? Well, Points if they good? put it on the right. Points were good. Points I got confirmation good. from the referees. Jeez, we've missed that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Nice finish. I yeah. think the scary part, Ronnie, we yeah. see this a lot with players. Once they get up in that air, it's okay, but once yeah. those legs start kicking and those arms start waving, they're, uh, yeah. they're in no man's land. Yeah, no, definitely, JB. You're spot on. And convert from the foul shot. So 96 points. This margin's nearly at 30 again. Yeah, not, not, not great. Not great. Not great at all. Slightly anticlimactic. We are flying through, though, less than an hour worth oh, of game time. Oh, Peel panked it off the what, window. Reco recovers nicely, though, oh. from the slip-up. Where, where's the ATM when you need it? It's that to go. This time of night over in the eastern suburbs, Ronnie, that's probably not where you'd go for your cash. Co correct. 96.71. Margin back to 25. Woo! That's good. Excellent. How many phones do you have? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's... What? There's only... <laughs> that's a small hey, well, number to count. Yeah, there's young fouls there, Hargrave. Why do you have two phones? No, no, that's Jacob's phone. Oh, my apologies. Yeah. I'm thinking, where did that come from? No. <sighs> I meant to buy, buy your... No. Anyway... I don't it? have a business number. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Your regular number is your business number <laughs> at the moment. You do that much work. Yes. How is the text line at the moment, Ronnie? Uh, it's fine. Very good. It's fine. There was just something that popped up which I've been waiting to hear about all day. So that was good. You got paid? Uh, no, no, that was last night, Joe. Oh, it's there we go. <laughs> It's usually one or the other. Yep. Oh, da Ooh. Davey trying to be a bit ambitious. Just too much razzle-dazzle. Yeah. No, that, that was a nice shot by Hargrove. Yeah, really poised himself nicely to knock that yeah. down. Luff balloons on the scoreboard, three and a half remaining. And we are just falling through this game. Neither side wanting to time it out or really get a stoppage here. No. As Young will go to the line for two. Forcing his way, and Hargrave unimpressed. <laughs> and I don't know if his teammates understand why. Substitution there is Cal Fox. I think Ollie's got a full sleep down there. This one, this one he actually, I reckon he is having a snooze. <laughs> he's holding, he a, holding a mug in one hand. Is he asleep? Can someone check that Ollie's... I don't think he's... Oh, there we go. No, he's all right. He's up. He looked asleep, Rick. <laughs> go down and wake him up, will you? He's <laughs> doing the... Manzo, he just got a casual 15 dunks for the game. <laughs> I don't know how you get 15 dunks with less than 30 points, Ronnie. My math isn't great, but it's a 15 twos are 30 in any, any <laughs> bloody language. Absolutely. Thank God Thank God, someone else does your tax return. <laughs> thank you. 99.73. <laughs> and, yeah, that found Fox there just for the reach. Oh, double arm bar, yes. Yeah, no, that's automatic. Yeah, pretty easy once you get two hands involved. Yeah, abs absolutely. This is going now. It's just really now going through the motions. This is the most relaxed Anthony Stewart's been all roster. Yeah. All year. Oh, yeah, probably fair call there. Yeah. Stratzman makes that one. There's the ton. There's the ton. Bradman, Bradman on the board. Someone waves the bat. Not too violently. No. So we're probably in chance to see our highest score here. Yep, just playing a yeah, little too hard there, Ferguson. Yeah, just, uh, I don't mind the intent. It's, um, you know, he's still, he's still trying to get a stop here, which is good. But, yeah, just a little bit of overplay. So, 101.73. Peel has lost his own hand. And that one's been saved by Davey, who's... Oh, turning and threading the needle! Good finish there by Stratzma. Great feed by Davey. Margin at 30. Yeah, good transition play there by, by Swisher. So... Right now, just again, we just go. Oh, it's easy as you like there for Noel for no Clark. Yeah, good finish there by Clark. 
103.75. Hargrave threading the needle. Stratzma puts up above the break. Couldn't rally that down. Deflected. That'll be off Hargrave's hand. As we look to wrap up, Ronnie, in our grand final next week at this point, it's, well, at this point, yeah, I'll say at this point, it's it's safe as houses, yeah. despite the market that we're currently experiencing. Swisher and Utah, it uh, should be a barn bur burner of a game. Yeah, no, looking forward to this, that matchup, JB. It should be a good game as well. Oh! Ooh. Ferguson. Oh, Bill Ferguson, what's he doing there? Hmm, squeaky clean kind of dunk there. Old red bill, $20. Deflected there, Howard. But yeah, next week is uh, Ferguson, is say. an exciting matchup. If it's anything like it was back in week one, where they went to overtime, then you know they're certainly going to be um, yeah two for nail. Could be an interesting bookend of the season. Minute 43 remaining, fourth quarter. Oh, Youngie! Oh, Youngie! Yeah, nice finish there by Youngie. Consolation at this point. 105, 77, 28 points our margin. Thanks to Live Eat, healthy eating, the right way, the fast way. Getting to Live Eat today. Of course, the Bruton Basketball Foundation, our broadcast sponsor for our men's semi-final round here at the Tassie Summer Slam. We thank all our sponsors over the season for their continued ongoing support. Nails that shot there, Stratzma. Um, I tell you what, are we in their high score of the season? Only 108? I think so. I think. It's a lot of offense. I'm just trying to think who we I need. We'd have to look for the results, I think. It's have to be looking yeah. for results. Oh, Yummy. Woo. Yeah, oh. just tried a little too yeah. hard there. Clark fades away oh. and scores. That says it all, really, in that in that shot right there. Oh, wait, he missed. He did miss. Oh, dear. As Hargrave must have got hit. He they must have. Play through there. Young above the break three. Did he bank that? That looked like a bank. Either way, they've cashed it. Final 30 seconds here. A smile by both sides. And they're just slowing down. They are wanting to get this one out of the way. It's going to be deep. Will Hargrove be the one to shoot it? We'll see. I think they're going to dribble. Oh, are they going to let the shot clock go? Or what are they doing? Yeah, I think so. Oh, no, Hargrove's going to shoot it. Just to get it up. That'll do. Yeah. That will do. Over the top to Clark. He's going to want to throw one down quickly. He does. And that'll do us. Final scores here. 82-108. As Clark finishes off with the dunk. Final scores. 108-82. And our grand final next week, Ronnie. Utahs and Swisher here on Chargers TV. And that is the end of our men's regular season. It is, and um, yeah, as we mentioned, it's going to be an exciting matchup on, on Friday night. I think both teams will go hard at it. Um, I expect, you know, you know, both teams will go up at number notch. That is for sure. I think for you, Taz, it's going to be really trying to, have, you know, stop Angerstein. I think he showed how valuable he can be for any any team. So, yeah. but I like the shoot. I like the shooting from um, from you, Taz. Again, their offensive production has been good. You know, it's just how much can how much can they not allow to give up on the defensive end, and that's going to be the interesting matchup next week. Nothing short of dominant in this one, Ronnie. Will Davy, 27 points, had his breakout game, four rebounds, five assists, two blocks, and a steal. A nice rounded game, but unfortunately, when you look in comparison, Ollie Angerstein, 25 and 22 on the boards there, 17 points to go with 10 rebounds. For Jordy Stratzman, six assists, a nice little pinch hit for him. 12 and four from Will Ferguson. 10 and 6 from Harry Griffiths as well for the victors. Oh, meanwhile, for, for uh, the uh, Titans here was uh, Noah Clark and Matty Young. They both top scored with 20 points each. And then next best, Lewis Crennan with 15. And then you know, Callum Fox with, with 11. And then Jordan Peel with 10 towards the end, towards the end, towards the end there. Good grief. Um, so 2-4, 2-4, 5. Five plays in double figures. So... Uh, really good effort there by Titans. Again, regardless, it was just giving too much on the de on the defensive end, uh, where his team switches were able to capitalise nicely. A good finish up here to the Tassie Summer Slam men's competition. Our grand final next Friday. We'll see Utahs taking on Swisher. On behalf of Ronnie Riggs, of behalf of Jacob behind the camera, I'm Justin Bryan. We will catch you on Monday for our women's semi-final action. Tune in to Chargers TV, 6.30 and 8pm. But for 
the time being over the weekend, it's bye for now.